This was on a. He just walked out of FA again. Uh, Russ, he swapped again. Credit card. <laughs> Swap that credit card. <laughs> Oops. All right, guys, we're gonna make the guild on fucking SOR now. All right, guys, new uh, new guild. We're gonna rename it again. Oh yeah, let me rep my new guild because I can't rep hate. What's your new guild? Oh, uh, it, it's a love. <laughs> oh. It's got to be the opposite, you know. Oh. Yeah, hey, but love. Biz invite Bizarro love. hate. Yeah, but it it's uh, but it's called Life Offers Violent Ends. <laughs> oh heck yeah, this alt is loaded. I have twenty gold. Do you need gold, Nova? Do you want me to send you some gold? How many gold do I have? I have one hundred seventy-three to my name. This map is now queued because of uh, roars here. When you so, screen like, hey, there's quite a bit there. You want to go? Let's... Right, food's already down here. Or no, but I sent you an invite to the guild in case uh, oh. we we all decide to run together later. Oh, Good going down on my tag. And then I'll get Thanks. in those. And then what's your tune's name? I'll join it. There we go. Here, the big Norn in front of you, bro. Oh, I have cataracts and a lazy eye, bro. And I can't see well. Why am I, am I food capped here? There we go. Weird. Oh, so I only try it over here. There we go. I was like, why can't I put out my food? Do food at, down at spawn. <clears throat> oh, I should probably get some freaking support food, huh? Here, there's some back there at the stairs. Yeah, so I'm grabbing. So when we're dropping food, I'll uh, introduce everybody. That's cool. So, episode three, Commander Roundtable. I, I think this is something that we kind of started on the fly, you know, two weeks ago, but it's become enjoyable. Everyone's had fun with it. We've uh, changed up the format a little bit, but on today's show, we have Rivalia from Flux, we have Elric from Dusk, Blaze from GD, and Astaroth from Fear, who's going to be joining us in about five minutes or so. Um, we're going to take questions from the Twitch along the way. Everyone's welcome to ask questions. And we're going to take turns commanding every fight. So after every fight, the, the pin is going to pass to the next commander. But that's the format. I think it's going to be an interesting conversation um, as we go. But why don't we start off, since Revalia has the pin, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Revalia, while we get started in your guild. Sure. I'm Riv. I'm the commander and guild leader of Flux. Um, and, uh, I'm on SOR. We're all on SOR. So Flux usually runs large squad, uh, uh, large squad type fights. So it's like Zerg fights and stuff like that. So we run usually 40 plus, uh, up to 50. And, um, yeah, we look for, we generally are looking for fights. So this how is old is your guild it. and how long have you been commanding? Uh, <laughs> The guild predates uh, Guild Wars 2, so how old is Guild Wars 2 now? <laughs> so what is it, 2012, so 12 years? It's 12 years, so it's like 14 years now. So we started in Rift, um, as where we started as a guild, and then uh, formed up in Guild Wars 2 when that, uh, and I, uh, sorry, I was in charge of the Guild Wars 2 uh, chapter uh, when that started, when that game started, and then we just exclusively played Guild Wars 2 since then. Them. Elric, you're up. If you want to tell us about yourself and your guild. Sure. I'm Elric, leader of Dusk. We are a semi serious fight guild. We average about 30 to 40. We always run open, though. Uh, we just want to give people a chance to learn World of this World. So we always leave room in squad for those that are interested in learning. We run every day, 6.30 to 8.30 Eastern. Um, with the exception to Friday, I do tag up uh, for EU in the afternoon on our server uh, just to give uh, I pug man, but I give people a chance to follow the tags that can't follow our main time zone. And uh, we've existed, Dusk has ex existed for uh, since 2015. However, I started tagging for the past three years, three, four years. And uh, that's all I can see right now. Okay. Blaze, tell us a little bit about yourself and your guild. 
Hi there. Uh, GD's been around since the game started. However, there wasn't very many people. It was only three. We've slowly grown since then. I would say I've been tagging for about seven years, but I mean, like, started out tagging for five people, and then seven, then ten, and then gradually now we tag most days 40 to 50. However, we are mainly PPT. I don't like to fight. <laughs> I'll only fight if it's over an objective. I'm not going to open the field fight. Um, I cater to a lot of the new people at sea time. Um, so we teach them the ropes. Some stay with us and some move on. And that's okay. She's going to fight tonight. You all better be fight careful night. out there. She's going to so fight scared. tonight. Everyone fights. Yeah. We'll be fine. <laughs> Bullyfoot, you, we know who you are, but you want to throw in a quick intro again for those that don't know? Sure, we are the oldest guild in this game, oh 18 years of strong. So there we go. Yeah, you know it, baby. It's coming. Let's see. Right, uh, I've been commanding for, for the longest. Everyone's been in hate once, at least. I, I always say that because every uh, I beat a lot of commanders that used to, used to, to be, be in hate. Elric used to be in hate back in the day. I followed oh, he used to with run with, he followed he us. There you and go. Then he, there you he, go. He, 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 Got to Every, know better, and he was played. like, "All right, fuck this, I'm out." Everybody's played in hate at least once, yep, no matter sure. who you are. So you know, it's one of those things that uh, I'm very proud of. Everyone's played with hate. Good guild. Uh, we like to have fun. We're a meme guild, but we also uh, are a fight guild. So uh, yeah, that's it. We're it's the cornerstone of the game. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Bully, <laughs> Mr. Nova. Holy, that was that was beautiful. You, like that? you guys are also uh, GVG champions. Uh, we are, year. we are GVG champions. One time, that's true. Uh, I'm Nova, uh, Apex guy, Ford Aspen mainly, but uh, I like to server hop because, um, I, I don't know, it's kind of fun sometimes. His main is now on it. SOR. Yeah, main is now on SOR, guys. We're transferring. We're making a guild there. Uh yeah. Uh, me and Indo, we always uh, have a good time and. Yesterday was not a good time. <laughs> we might have to go no, south because but... the oh, south is open. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, you know, hi. No one's down. Nobody blacked out. Where are you? What did I black out? What do you mean? You didn't finish, no, he's bro. done. He doesn't need five minutes How to see himself in his guild. Like you, yeah, man. He, he doesn't need you to know, tell I'm the just... universe that he's number one at everything. He's, wow, he's good. Yeah, I'm just, just the a quick man introduction. Right, man. Yeah, just... dude. Number. Yeah. Hey, what day are you number one? I'm Thursdays. Um, what what days? No one play. Uh, Fridays because everybody lags out on. Uh, there on you reset. go. So yeah. The two hours before reset, he's number one guild. Yeah, PPT. Congrats, congrats. Thank you, thank you. It took a while to get that. So we got a 45 to 50 man, would you say, Rivalia? We have a 30 to 40 with Dusk. We have a... GD, how big do you normally run? Would you say? 30 to 50. 30 to 50. <laughs> big spread, but 30 to 50. We got Bullyfoot with 30 to 40. And then Nova, you're like 25 to 30 right now, right? Yeah. So we got a pretty good spread of uh, commanders and sizes of guilds that you know run pretty regularly. So I think you know the discussion tonight should be pretty interesting because everyone should have a pretty unique perspective in regards to the world we world scene. And why don't we start with that? What do you guys think about the current meta? Not a big fan of it. Really? As a 50-man no. guild, you're not a big fan of it? Interesting. No, I'm not because it's uh, it's kind of brain dead because of the like it's about uptime mostly and right now barrier is the biggest problem in the game mode and i think it's not going to be addressed well in the um in the balance patch because it's only the only address like chaos aura and stuff a little bit but um this <laughs> watch out oh, wait there's uh, emmy's coming up on the right ready to push soon sorry the um yeah i don't like the current meta right now because uh, because of mainly that there's too much damage mitigation right now. It's like high damage is like it's issue of high damage and damage mitigation both being very high in this current meta. But wouldn't you think that's good for smaller guilds that can absorb damage from bigger guilds? No, because they can't. Because like if if, if you have really? say if you have 50 and you have like 30 that have the same damage, watch, watch out. There's a red and blue right here. I might have to I might have to stop <laughs> doing yeah, 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 yeah. When we're forward. fighting, we can just stop. Don't worry about that. Just keep working on the Lord for a bit. 
you're gonna push up soon. So looks like I'm watching dash on there. I'm pushing three seconds actually. Uh, let's keep working Lord. Keep working Lord for now. I'm gonna watching Roar. Let them let them work on that. We'll push up once we burn this burn this down. But as I was saying, yeah, like if you're a small guild and you have say like you have thirty, right? And you have your face thing of fifty guild, and they have every party has a chrono, every party has a, a heal scrapper, a support scourge. Um, you will lose out in sustain um, because of that. Now, if you're if the fifty man guild is not as skilled, and maybe you're more skilled, maybe there might be a differential there. But if they're both equally skilled, you'll you'll just straight up win out on that that situation as a fifty. If you ever if, if really? assuming assu assuming if comp is perfect and everything, if both what? groups are around. 30, 50, the 50 will win over the 30. Because really? like, uh, and they'll, because they're like, look at logs, right? Um, like, uh, when I look at elite insights types data, uh, a lot of damage mitigation is like, for, for barrier is about f between 20 to 40% of damage. That's assuming, you know, if you're getting thrown with like the highest damage abilities, like, um, you know, a Scorcher from Berserker and the Hall, Hall Smith abilities and such. A lot of that's being tanked by that um, in general. And on top of, you know, you have your Aegis, your um, uh, protection, and all and uh, weakness on air enemies pushing forward. Actually, push me, get rid clash. Just take my veil, take my veil. Think here, bomb wells. Dodging back in three, two, one. Dodge back. Range those downs, haze those downs. We want to have this fight count. count. They're already dead. Yeah, right, yeah. Just push, just push, just push. I mean, I think, I think you know, just going off for said, I, I don't know. Like, I think you know, I, I, obviously, I, I run thirty to thirty-five, yes. and we, you and I fight all the time, Riv. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know if that's hundred percent yeah. true. I think honestly, at the end of the day, like the, I, I think the meta does. Well, skill Sorry. definitely helps for sure, but I think the other thing about it is numbers will always have an advantage. Ever since like 2017, yeah. 2018. If you have more than ten on your your opponent and they're comped, like ten plus comped variants, I mean the num the advantage there is pretty big. Yeah, what, it what is. We... It, no, right, it is. It, 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 I just make sure I did get misinterpreted. I said the bigger group will win over the smaller group. Mm. So that, that's why I said. What do you think, Elric? What's your opinion of the current they, meta? It's good, right. and I think Change. it's it's the same thing with every balance. Three. There's Go always up. a new trick here. Sink here. Heal up. Just range haze. Focus on circle. Grab. Four just and three. Oh, well, keep going right, keep going right. Go up, go up. Roll chaos, roll chaos. Bomb on me, bomb me right here. Keep going, keep going. Go down left and three, two, one. My bell left, take it. No. Crash air, crash air. Crash air and then go up. Three, two, one. Go up with me, go up with me. Just grind here. Go right, go right towards, 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 towards circle, towards circle. Right here, just downs, there's downs. Focus, there's downs. Focus, there's downs. Pushing right soon in a few seconds. Wait, I can push up, push up, push up. This way. Roll chaos. Keep going, cutting up, keep cutting up. One feet, cut up, one feet, cut up. Pushing down in three seconds. Right here, res, three, two, one, pushing down, raise spike, three, two, one. Pull spike on the right and then go left, three, two, one. Pull, 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 pull. Go up, go up, go up, go up, up. Focus me, focus me. There, right here, right here. Keep cutting up, keep cutting up. Focus right, go right a little bit, go right a little bit. No, they're gonna keep cutting up on us, right here. Sorry. Respawn. Oh, yeah, so. It's almost like I was there, Riv. Oh, good oh, fighting. Shit. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm sorry, Elric. <laughs> no worries, he asked them. But now you pass it on, right? So it, it, yeah, pass it to the next commander. And Elric, finish your thought, please. Go ahead. It's there's always gonna be a trick to every balance patch. Like right now, the current meta is the extra support. Now, can it be beaten? Of course, it can be beaten. It just depends on what the enemy's running. Now, the key is gonna be skill level. Like, yes, the barrier is gonna be a big part right now, but does that mean it can be beaten? Of course you can beat it. You can have f four weavers for all we know on the enemies. Or you can be running into like an Indo with 14 Scorched Earth. It all depends Whoa, on... Oh, what do you mean? Wow. <laughs> <Why can't> I... <laughs> How do you fit 14 Scorched Earth into a 30 <laughs> man? Elric, please. I'm trying to give uh, Bullyfoot command, but... You gotta drop the, the, oh, gotta drop cat, the, tag. Tag. Okay. the you cat tag. You gotta be cat tag. tag. Yep. All right. Here's here's my thought process, right? I think a skilled group can take out a bigger group because to end this way, we've been practicing the same thing. Like yeah. there should be no reason why a positioning is important. Elric, you want to take the next one, brother? Sure. Uh, yeah. Right. Oh wait, who? Me? No, Elric. Oh, Elric. We know. We'll go last. You, take you guys got a chance last week. Yeah. Let's give these guys a chance. So think about positioning. Think about your skills and how you utilize them, and what your current comp is for your squad, right? Just because you're a smaller group doesn't mean you can't be the bigger group. I use examples like 
Nick at night. We all know he runs 60, right? I, I was running 30, I think 32, 33 against Nick, and we were stopping him, just destroying him. But it was because we were positioning in the right way. We were we weren't key, headbutting our keyboards. Uh, we had the right comp. We bunkered up. We we were able to absorb damage and then bait bait their bombs and then and and, and turn and then bomb them. It can be done with uh with the right skill set. So I I would have to disagree. I think the meta is in a good good position, especially for smaller groups. Before we continue that conversation and uh, definitely respond, I want to give Astaroth a chance to introduce himself in his guild since he just joined us a little bit late. So people can recognize his voice. Astroth, you wanna jump in? Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm Astroth. I drive for Fear for the last four years. We started literally right before the COVID stuff went down back in 2020. Uh, we split off from a guild on Dragon Brand, made our way over to ET, found our way to SOR. And uh, our mantra is play with us because you want to, not because you have to. We don't, we don't like schedules. We're like hardcore casuals. We, those of us that play, we we love getting in the into the grit, in the minutia. We love fighting all you guys. You know, we get our asses kicked. We learn, and we go from there. Get ready for pulls. Right above. Three, two, one. Let's pull. Hang on. Let's go see if they need help here. Backup stabs. Careful. Let's go push in. Back up. Back. 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 Right, let's go help them. He needs. What bo you guys at? Blue. CC Sorrows. Small bomb here, guys. Eat these finishing downs. Dodge back, dodge back. They're pushing. Let Roar take the first hit. Okay, they're pushing on the left. Let's go three, two. Oh, sorry, fence. Take my veil. Stab up, buff up. CCs, eat their tail. Pulling them Pulling, yep. My no We're gonna push the main core group now. Roar's the veil on you. Yep, thank you. CC's off. I'm gonna hold here for three seconds. Got hollow ground on you. Two, one. Dodge out. Let's push forward. Eat them. Okay, I'm gonna keep hold here. Backup stabs. Big heals. Dodge back in three, two. No, just, run, just walk back. Come down. They're coming. They're trying to run away. Push, pulling. Drive. CC's. Yep, holding here. All right, dodge out. It's getting hot for you guys. Stay tight. Stay tight. Keep bombing my feet. Get, if you get low, dodge back. Alright, good. Got it. Let's hold here for a bit. Let's heal up. Alright. There's still a core group behind. Let's go finish it down. Okay. Alright, just CC's like pressure. Save your bombs. Got to pull. Good. Good job. Alright, is we're okay? Yeah, they're okay. So what were you saying, Elric, before the fight started, in response to Bully? Uh, yeah, so if you remember in the old days, uh, small groups could kill big groups. So what was yeah. the deciding factor? The deciding factor is just basically tag and how many reliable people you have in your squad, like skill level. Like, it, it, you shouldn't always look at the numbers. You should always look at skill level. You can have 50 people that can cast a bomb, 30 people, even half that can cast a bomb or do a skill set. You're still gonna lose, even if you fight a smaller group. It all depends on what you have. What are your assets? Like, it, I can even have the most skilled people as a tag. I can just flash my tail and get obliterated. So I think numbers is basically a one third. Tag is another third, and uh, how many reliables you have in squad is another third. I think you do have to. Like, I agree with some of what you're saying, but I think you do have to take into account comp. Like. Just perfect. Like I'll just speak for myself. You know, against Bullyfoot, even against Revalia, against uh, some other guilds. Like I recomp my squad, maybe two, three times in the same fucking like you know set of yeah, fights. Back, 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 back. Be careful. Yep. So I mean, I, I think somewhere in there, part of what Riv said, I agree with, and part of what you said, I also agree with. Like you need to have the right comp as well. But uh, yeah, absolutely, you gotta have a good commander, good good players behind it, but. Running around with like you know a shitty comp isn't gonna get you anywhere nowadays. I think it you won't. really gotta optimize, especially if you're not gonna run 50. If you're gonna run like sub 35, you really gotta optimize every single yeah. spot counts. But something I didn't clarify in my earlier point was like I was saying if you run perfect composition, if you have 50 of randos, is not gonna work out. 
So uh, yeah, com right. composition is like I feel it's like sixty to seventy percent of winning is composition. In the, in the current meta or just generally? In generally, generally. Mm. It's always been it's been it's always been the strongest thing. You need to cover that base first before you actually can like. I mean, skill is an important part, but you need to cover composition first before you can count for skill. In my opinion. Stay tight. We're gonna no, be a sandwich. Astroth, Blaze, you guys got any opinions? Um, can you uh, can you re re ask the question again? I, I think <laughs> I, I'm, the, I'm the, at a loss. The, 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 the current me. world reworld like, meta. Okay. Basically, uh, your opinions. I, I I'd say the the current meta, um, it felt stale within a week of it coming out, right? Um, I think a lot of the a lot of the well-known fight groups were, were playing very similar things. There wasn't a lot of build diversity. Um, it's I, I, now I'm sure you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, what have we been at least Power. seeing in the in the logs is you you're running some kind of double stab, some kind of healer, and some kind of barrier, and then you just bring in the biggest truck in. CC's off. Healer. Let's go eat this eat Deshka. Big bombs here. CCs, finish dodge back, back up steps. My okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Thank, thank you. Someone trans. Range, range in front. Okay, he's into them. Spell arc it. CCs off. So the skills finish it down right here on my tag. Hold. Three, two, one. Spike it. Spike, spike, spike. Get ready to dodge back. No, no. Arc it. Just go around. Just go around. We're going to good bomb off. Let's push the rest. Don't go. Don't take it to the line of sight. Arc it up again. Three, two, one, spike, big bombs, finish downs completely. Alright, well, let's go. Back up stabs, road, road, road. Okay, good. Alright, I think. We were behind. Careful, move back. I'll pass tag in one set, just to make sure it's okay. No, you can finish the fight. And then you yep, can pass okay. it. Okay, so red's done. Who wants to next? Astroth or Blaze? Blaze hasn't said anything. Johnny She's Blaze! The, 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 the pin Blaze. as well. Blaze is not tagging. Come on, Blaze! You got to! Just once. We won't ask you again. One one fight. If you really, really don't want to, you don't have to. Stack tight. They're going to turn and burn on uh, Roar. Let's hold here for a sec. Let's empower. Sniff says they are stacked behind the portal. All right, he's moving back. Let's move back. But what do you think? Like in a, in a last, since we have the two, you know, I think you know, Riv. I think you represent one of the largest organized world we world guilds. You know, obviously Dusk. I think you're right there. Fear, you're, you're you said thirty to forty, so you're slightly smaller. And GD, you're slightly small. Oh, what do you think oh, is no, the? No. Yeah, just to correct, Fear. Any day of the week is probably twenty twenty five. Oh, okay, okay. So you're you're and, and on, a, on a reset we we can we can get as big as thirty, but that's usually our average. Okay. So yeah, I stand corrected. Asta, you're not in the squad, Asta. <clears throat> uh, I'm still in queue. If you guys are blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Pass it to Blaze. Yeah. If Blaze doesn't want to, then pass it to Bully Foot or Nova. Okay, I'll pass it to Nova then. Since he's in... Can you give me a. Uh... Alt lieutenant okay. and party too, so I can uh, I can help rearrange parties. What do you think is an equalizer though? Then like it shouldn't always count on numbers, right? Like it, I think if at the point where you need to have equal numbers to be competitive, I don't think that's a good thing either. Do you? All right, Nova, you have bubble. It might be invisible if you don't have the cat man. Well, I mean, oh, I Indo, I guess, I guess it comes down to what what metric are we looking at as the great equalizer? Oh, wait, he's purple. I mean, like what what's the What's the thing that we're looking at that says, "Hey, this is what makes this group good"? Like, is it is it commanding? Is it the quality of the individual player? Is it you know the adaptability? Like, you can have probably a commander that's really good at at knocking out fights one way, but if you can flip the script on them, then they're completely garbage. Doing my screen of it. So, uh, no. Like, like, what are we, what are we looking for? We'll try to engage with this real quick here. Give me Lieutenant and I'll we'll go ahead, uh, mark these commanders okay. for you. Right. There's one to, fearless to your right. There we go. And here we'll go ahead, uh, Deshka's group here. Take the veil, three, two. Take the veil, take the veil, take the veil. Take it from here, three, two. Just, uh, just get pulls up from here. Pulls up, pulls up from here. 
Let's just get a couple of them. Maybe watch out for blue. Blue's gonna hit a tail. We're gonna turn on blue in three, two. Give me turn on blue right here. Turn on blue behind here. Give spike on this in three, two. Get a little left, 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 left right here. Oh, they're disengaging. We're gonna go help pandas now. Three, two, one. Pull, up, pull off. Go towards pandas. Rawr. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Big hit it right here. Go left, go left, go left, go left. Spike right in three, two. Just spike right, right in three, two. Go, go, go. Hit that, hit that, hit that right there. Damage on that right there. Nice. Good pulls, good pulls, good pulls. Nice. Oh, blue Contact is nowhere right. to be seen. You can go up top right here. We don't have to take that, that corner, guys. Come up top right here. You can range down below right here, three, two. Just range down below right there. Well's on top there. One's on top, one's on top right there. Just spike down below, spike down below. I'm a chicken. Nice. On oh, my alt? You guys are chickening me? Oh, get off the rock, get off the rock, get off the rock here. Okay. Gotta wait for blue. Blue might hit her tail. Oh no, our friend died. Hey, get off the rock, get off the rock, get off the rock. We'll go hit uh, red. Three, two. Come wide left over here. Quicken powers. We get a full push this, I think. Three, two. Yeah, let's go. Oh, they're backing off. Good bail. We're gonna turn and hit uh, blue. Red's gonna back off fully. Oh, dude, nice. I don't have auto loot. Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> I just realized right all these loot bags sitting on the. Oh my oh, god! No, just spike the spike blue right there. Spike blue right there. Good. Uh, just crush him here. Crush him here. Crush him here. Nice big damage here. Big damage here. Save the cooldowns. Save cooldowns. Save cooldowns. Let's just cleave the downs. Cleave the downs here. Cleave the downs. Good. 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 Now we get to hit red in three, two. Oh, actually, get all the blues back here. Come here. I need loot on this character. Get ready to hit blue. Second of here. Push on blue in three, or red in three, two. Go left here. It's back on red right here. They're kind of strung out a little bit. He pulls on the three. Pull, 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 pull. It's an RNG guy. A couple guys, good pulls right there. Kill these guys. Nope. Right, peel back, peel back, peel back. Gonna go left here. We'll go around the rock here in just a moment. Uh, just take a peer. Yeah, so you guys like this current meta? This is, uh, you guys are in favor of it? I think, uh, no. very dependent. I think one it's of the things that emo, does mixed feelings, mixed feelings. I think one of the things that, you know, like, for example, like, I like to keep my squad as close to 30 as possible, but I think with the right comp setups, adjustments, whatever, I can maintain at least a level mm -hmm. of competitiveness with 30. I don't think, I mean, but understand that I, if I feel like 30 isn't the number and I have to fucking even out numbers. I don't know if that's going to help the scene much, right? Like, I mean, then you're pounding me with 50 players. I don't think right. that's good for for the scene. So I like I the leave. 35. The extra extra one squad. I got to leave. I got to leave. Yeah, yeah. Come, come, Covering, come. Stab on you, stab on you, stab on you. Oh, he's dead. I don't know. Well, that's I guess that's my question. Like if it does if it isn't competitive and when you can equalize with comp and better gameplay, then it's only it's forced to equalize on numbers. Is that better for the scene? Uh, Pass it back to you, Riv, and uh, Nasta, and, you know... Yeah, we're gonna hit right. this, we're gonna hit this. Yeah, but you lose the quality of the get competition, the you know? Yeah, it's a spike right here, pulls it down. Watch the big bomb right there, watch the big bomb. Just dodge right there, just spike it right here. Pull off this, pull off this, pull off this, now. pull off this. Illusion. Illusion. Oh. My illusion. Hello? You're up? Oh, <laughs> Call the transfusions, yeah. guys. Yeah, crunch right there. It's okay. Um, so one thing I've noticed on NA is... The, the Chinese meta is not really here, you know, so to speak. Like, I, when I was playing on EU the other day, I think it was yesterday, like, I witnessed it, like, just there. It was disgusting. It was it was probably the stupidest raid I've ever been to. You're just standing in place. It's 60 people versus 60 people. And you're just standing still, casting skills. And I thought that was, um... I don't know. It, it just was, uh... A little different than what we do now. Like, what do you guys I think, think that's about easier that? to do when you have 50, though. The, the problem is, and I don't know if you look at it as a problem, but I guess the issue is on NA, there's not that many 50 man guilds, right? There's a handful, but I think more guilds run, you know, let's say sub 35 than run, you know, 40 to 50. Would, would you guys disagree? Yeah, there's not many guilds that are that big anymore. Maybe back in the heyday, uh, I mean, I, but I, I those guilds have disbanded. Riv, correct me if I'm wrong, because you're you're one of the you know the the 50 organized groups out there currently. Anyways, I mean, how, what other 50 man groups do you typically f fight on a regular basis? 
I mean, I usually want to fight like groups like Roar or uh, well, we're not we're in the same matchup together, so we're not fighting each other. But like guilds like CO or um, Bane, Bane. Uh, you know, those, oh, I want yeah, to fight Bane, those Bane's groups. 50. Yeah, Bane is fifty, right? Yeah, there's okay, like God there's God. An, or uh, EBG Nyx group, you know, right. yeah, Godal. They're, they're 50. Godal. There's like there's there's several there's several like so fifty five or ranked. six is that you guys probably thinking? What do you got? Flux, Godal two, Bane three. EBG four. Who, did, who else did we say? CO. Maybe? No, CO's not. CO, yeah. CO, CO for CO, sure. CO's 40, 45. Yeah, we could say they're 50. They're 50 yeah, they can guild. get 50. Yeah, they're Bob guilds. So five. Five Bob guilds? I think there's more, though. Like, there's, there's Gem, there's CBO. Yeah. CBO, they're, they're, they're getting organized. So six. I don't know if Gem considers themselves uh, a fight VIP? Go, do they? VIP runs 50. VIP runs 50, yep. 6, 7, okay, 7. How big is How do I give you the tag? Is, 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 do you not have that? Across oh, 12 Grimaldi, servers. Grimaldi runs about 40, 45. Yeah. Oh, does he? Okay, so 8. Yeah. 8 across 12 servers. Shield. Shield, yeah. Shield, yeah, yeah. Fabian runs 40, nine. 45. Yeah, 9. Yeah, so, I mean, so let's just say a little less than 1 per server. No, but you want to pass it to Bully? Oh, uh, I'm trying to, to pass it to Bully, but uh. Here, Bully, I'm gonna have to. Bully, he has the Catmander tag, I think. Yeah, I have right? to go Catmander. I don't have. I don't know oh. if I can even. Yeah, well. I don't have huh? Catmander. Yeah, oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, hey, that's alright. I'll do it. We'll be Here, all right. let me leave. You can take it, and then I'll join back. Yeah, well, I can't. It won't let me take the squad. No, 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 you should be able to leave Thank now, you, right? Because. I can't unless you run with a cap, uh, have a Catmander. Are you sure? That's... I'm not sure, dude. Rip, I can't. Rip, I don't Rip have... tried passing it to you, but he couldn't. He can't because I don't have, I couldn't buy the tag. I don't have enough badges of honor. All right. Then, you, yeah, you can't run, period. Here we go. Symbols of Powers of 3, 2, 1. I'll take it. I'll just, quick. I'll just support take it. you. I'll take it. I'll take it. Symbols of Powers of 3, 2, 1. No, I'll, I'll give you a mark afterwards. 3, 2, 1. Small sub. Just quick pulls on the front, right? Roll back one. Big stabs in 3, 2, one big stabs. Bomb right here on the front left. Hollowed on us. Mowed. Ew. Sinking hollowed right here. Stuck it back on the left side. Big one. Illusion. Mowed again. What the fuck? I'm mowed <laughs> again. You're me too. I was like, Toxic. <laughs> I'm dead. Just Congrats. No, no, no. Get me, get me, get me. I'm rezzing, I'm rezzing, I'm rezzing. I'm illusioning over there if I can. Roll big stabs again. Big bomb right here. I got. Oh, nope. I got. You. I got. Oh. No, I died again. That's unfortunate. Wow. What a what a bunch of chumps mowing. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, like, think about it this way. If if I don't know, I I, I, I want, I'm more curious to your opinions. I I know my opinion. Like Riv, Elric, Asta, please. Sorry, one one in particular. Like just the, the the what what would be the equalizer if, if it like the the current meta allows a smaller group to somewhat be competitive against a larger one. They may not win every fight, but it allows them to be competitive. What would be the what would be the the change to still allow a smaller group to beat a, a larger group? I feel like the, there needs to be more windows for opportunities, and why I mean by that is like. Right now in the current meta, like damage is very consistent. Like uh, let's say you compare it to vanilla, like vanilla like Geo Wars 2, a lot of it's based on say well timers and specific timers and, and like long cooldowns and such. Um, and that lasted until like, I mean, until POF I'd say, right? Because like POF is when you started having like high damage more of the time. You had boon strips that was really high. Right now it's like I said, like, Everybody who runs any kind of real comp, uh, composition has either a Berserker or their are Hall with doing mainline damage, yeah. right? And maybe sometimes you might see like possibly a Reaper or something like that. But those are those two are are the reason why they're there is because they do the most damage and they can hit beyond the five target cap, which does allow for a smaller group hit to hit more. But that feels like part of like a problem, right? Because like it feels like if you have a, such a high damage and then you have more, then uh, you're still you're still going to like 
I don't know. It is. It's like, yeah, you can play it well, and yeah, you can like do that stuff. But at the same time, it just feels like Parv taking advantage of something that's kind of broken, in my opinion. Sorry, that that, that doesn't if that made sense or not. It makes sense, but in my opinion, even though Scorched Earth does a lot of damage, it's because it's hitting the twenty-five people. Each mm -hmm. block is basically as much damage as a well of power or a yeah. well of corruption. Because I feel like right now, like there's so as a fifty-man group. So speaking as like a larger group. I feel like there's more um it has always been the case for 50 man to or like large squad to make it easier you on yourself pin, because um because you have oh I have the pin now okay because because I'm talking no, the, yeah. uh, we'll pass it back we forward it in three seconds three do you want to so, so. help panders I gotta put my veil back on every time I get swapped back on I guess with my skills but the um as I was saying um yeah as like a large group like because of the current meta like i feel like sustain is way easier in the sense that you have like chaos or you have all these other things going on you have lots of big damage and then before you know like fights nowadays i just don't care about uptime like uptime all these different abilities and such before i had to watch for windows of opportunity and you still have little bits and pieces of that but not as often as the as uh previous metas Pushing forward to red soon. Power's here. Five seconds. Doing my veil right in three, two, one. Advance a little bit. Just gonna haze. I did not gonna veil. I'm just gonna range haze. Range haze pull. Pull spike. And dead back. Three, two, one. Dodge back. Pulling. Step up. Step up. Sustain a little bit here. Pushing forward soon. The well three, two, one. Net wells bombs here. Wells bombs here. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. My tag. Very peel back soon. Trying to go left in three, two, one. Back towards south. 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 Sustain on me. Sustain on me. Right here. Right here. Pushing left side in three seconds. Three. Hold here. Three, going right check. Three, two, one. Illusion. One tag, one tag, one tag. One tag. Go right, go right. Right here, right here. Keep rolling, chaos. Keep rolling, chaos. Fringe, hit the fringe, hit the fringe. Range pressure, range pressure, range pressure. Hold, oh. res. Okay. Hold. Going left in three, two, one. Going left, 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 left. Not down. Just left, left, left. Help me. Yeah, I got mowed. What the fuck? <laughs> right here, right here. Going down. Sorry. Three. Two, I'm going to go back to spawn. Toxic. Yeah. Damn. I mean, I, I guess, I guess my response is like, what if, what, how would you feel if like the, the meta changes, whereas groups like mine are like the only way for us to remain competitive is then to run fifty players. Would that I don't be think good that's, for that's, the game that's healthy mode? at all. No, I don't think it's healthy at all um, because like, I don't want it to be the case where everyone has to run fifty, and because like, but then I don't if know, the, I, the, well, I guess that's my point. If the current meta changes, mm -hmm. whereas like groups like mine, I'm not saying you know. Like every group's like mine, but groups like mine are then like, because I'm not going anywhere, right? My my group isn't going anywhere. I've gotten smaller, not bigger, but that's because I feel like we can remain competitive by going small, not bigger. But then if the the meta changes, I'm still going to continue playing the game. I'm going to still continue wanting to be competitive. Yeah. But then if I say, hey, the only way for us to be competitive is to be 50 man, I'm not going to hesitate. Tomorrow, no. with a snap of my fingers, I'll be a 50 man. Yeah. Like the uh, my main issue is like is the fact that it we're i don't i just it feels unhealthy to have to take advantage of a particular meta like the like certain kind of like broken things about it to be strong and what i mean by that for example like with um let's say like a couple of metas ago uh rise reaper was a big thing right. and uh that and you saw groups um like soul you know be able to like tank with 30 people like tank 50 man groups well that, that wasn't just rise that. though right that was rise and using oh, yeah. using the broken clones like yeah, the, the, clones phantasms, well, yes. it was, the phantasm it was, it was, yeah. it was phantasm yeah. yeah it was it was uh yeah, yeah like escape art, escape artist uh escape artist phantasms and rise reapers and correct yeah that like there was a very skilled group that was able to exploit that really well and defeat groups much bigger than them correct but it felt broken because like you're using these particular mechanics and you have to form that way to win that way. So right. if, if you have a 50 man group that uses the same mechanics and say, not that everyone was on the level, was on the level of soul, but if like you had an art group that was like the same level, but they had 20 extra people, then by default they would win. Correct. Like mathematically you would think. So more likely than not. Yeah. More likely than not. And so in the current meta, it's kind of yeah. a similar way. People oh. are using, uh, uh, people are using, Chaos Aura, you know, everyone's running four support in a party with one damage because the one damage can do way more. We'll be, we have Hall Smith and um, 
Berserker can hit past with normal back. caps of five. So it feels like we're still like kind of abusing a broken system right now. It just doesn't feel balanced to me. I know. It's just more like my gut feeling doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. I mean, I, I I, well, wouldn't that be better for a bigger or smaller group? Because then you, you bring balance to to that that aspect. Because if you're a smaller group, you need to be able to uh, uh, bomb, be, uh, need to have that higher cap. Let's pull. Does it look under gravity wall? Spike it. The problem with the, like, and I, I get the point you're making, and like on paper, I guess it makes sense. But the the, the thing that made their group and that like specific exploit a problem was that it lagged the fuck out of everything mm -hmm. too. I mean, right now. Uh, I mean, the Chaos Aura is the same way right now. I too. agree. I think Chaos Aura needs to be nerfed. I thousand percent agree. Let's wait. Hang on. Come come close to Roar. Push, push, push. Come here. We're in it. Yeah, Just Chaos Aura, or do you think Barrier as well? I think it's Chaos Aura because the, because the fact that, like, you say if you have a Mesmer in every party. It's the random, it's not just the, the Chaos Aura, it's also the fact that it has to do the calculation of the random condition and the random boon. So every time Chaos Aura goes up, you're doing, you know, effectively, well, so what is it, three random boons or one of three random boons or one of three random conditions. So, so you're doing no, that calculation yeah. on both sides. Let's go, let's go range bombing. And that's what's lagging the server. Like, together. Eat the people that can't climb a hill. Eat the people that can't climb a hill. Okay, dodge back, dodge back. They're gonna want to stealth. Get ready for an illusion. No, never mind. I got you, Nova. Shoot down. Okay, careful. Careful. Come on. Stay tight. Back up steps. Alright, let's slow down pal here, our BBC. Three, two, one. Dodge back in three, two. Oh, I got mowed. Dodge back. Did dodge you get mowed? Oh, yeah. Stay with me, guys. Don't worry, I can play as a MOA. CCs, dodge through them, come to the tail before they can bomb. Hologram? Alright, I'm loading. Alright. Let's regroup. Dude, I need to get my tag. This is so irritating. <laughs> we need to donate you. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just, uh... <laughs> I, need badges, I need badges of honor. I need 250 to get it. So you need 300 gold and 250 badges of honor. How many badges of honor do you have? 116. Oh my god. Yeah. So irritating. We'll just give you a mark and we'll follow the mark. Yeah, yeah. we can do that. And also, or can we have somebody stay close to you if you want? Yeah, Go that's away. fine. Give him a square. I, I right. need this shit. Or Asta, do tag. you want to has us give it to Asta? He hasn't okay. tagged yet. Yep. Is oh, he on no, the map yet? El oh no, Elric, you keep it. <laughs> no, no, everyone's taking a turn. We're just passing Elric. along. Don't worry, everyone's lost so far, so don't even stress oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah, everyone's lost. We don't really have a You're comp crazy. that I see. So I'm running back it. right now. I didn't, I didn't die, but they're chasing me. So it's one of those, everybody's just happy to be here. Kind of yeah, yeah. Just, it's more for the yeah. conversation, so don't even stress it. Don't even stress yeah, it. Yeah. I'm here to win fights. Hello? <laughs> yeah. As well, oh, only if it's going to be mean to me now. Thanks. <laughs> This is really uh, adding on to what uh, Indo was saying was like right, the whole Chaos Order stuff is like, you know, I see the internal cooldown is one second. Every time you're getting hit and you're getting hit by, you know, the Scorched Earths and those um, laser beam, uh, things, things and stuff like that, those are just triggering all those blanket condies onto enemies and they're just causing lag. And then you're also generating those boons as well. So there's like a lot of stuff that's just being computed at the same time. You know, if you have any groups that are, that are comped up, they're 50 v 50, they're immediate lag fests because of the Chaos Aura. Yeah. You know, everyone's throwing them up and getting hit a ton. So that was just adding on to what you just said. What do you guys think of the new weapons? Have any of your groups integrated any of the new weapons? Yeah. Uh, That's my rifle seems pretty good. Yeah, Mesmer so, Rifle yeah, and uh, yeah. NG Short uh, Bow both are now in our compositions. Nothing else? Uh, some are okay, but like, I mean, I know Double Sword is really cool for Necro, but we don't, all Necros are Scourges, uh, support Scourges, so they can't, they don't use it. All right. Oh, what the god. All right, here, let's peel around. What are we doing? What are we doing? All right. Give me a quick spike. Back him up. Oh my god, some stab. A little reflect. Yeah. Trying to wait. Yeah! Alright, Moa time, baby. 
fucking. <laughs> Everybody's got it. All right, let's stop. Uh, let's move up. Let's give me a pulls bomb. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something. Oh, these guys are tough. All right, here. Wrap around to the right. Wrap around to the right. They're kind of caught up. They're kind of caught up. Give me something. Illusion. Yeah. Yep. 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 Ooh. Uh, I guess we just just bomb your feet hard as you can. Everything you got in the tank. Do all your groups. Uh... Oh, that's fine. Oh yeah. Do oh, all your no. groups uh, have a comps that you guys run, or do you guys allow pretty much anything within the kind of the the, the trinity? Uh, I'll let other folks speak because <laughs> I've been speaking quite a bit. Uh, aim for comp. You, you, but there's you, certain, there's certain, certain people just can't handle some classes, though. So I'll give them an exception to bring something different. But you try to have a healer in every group, a fire in every group. Oh, yeah. No, you, ha you always have to have that. Yeah, you need to have... I'm talking about more specific, like a Zerk or a, a support colonel to go close to meta. But, yeah, you, need, you always have to have a firebrand, regardless. You got to say it, Blazy. You can't type it. People can't hear you. That GD has no comp. It's play what you have fun with. I encourage them to come with meta builds at least. However, nine times out of ten, we don't have a firebrand every party. We don't have a healer every party. Um, we're we're very uncomp. But again, we do have a lot of new players just learning, um, and kind of teach them and encourage them to try other guilds as well and. Can I, let me ex, uh, can, if I don't mind if you don't mind I want to expand on that like you are you the only commander in GD? Yes. I, and you command every day during set hours? Yes, every day nine Eastern the, to eleven Eastern. Nine to eleven in the morning or in the evenings? In the in the morning. In the morning. So you, you effectively you're a sea guild. Yeah, effectively. Yeah. I mean, uh, do you like? Don't you think and. Once again, this is not to be, you know, criticizing. I'm just curious, you know. Don't you think that you you have that ability because you're so regular to become something other than a PPT guild, or how are you described in the beginning? Because I mean, you, you're you're a regular commander. Clearly, you know, you know the meta. And if not, you have people that you can you know, utilize as a resource. I mean, I, would, I know I you've would, said that you're like a stepping stone or whatever, but it's, it I could be more, no. I would say a, a good majority of them really just want to come socialize and have fun. Um, and then there's the other half of them do, you know, do want to fight more. But I mean, we're just not comped enough to do it for the most part. Do you have a core in your guild? Like the same, like maybe 15 players that log in every single day during that yes. time? Yes. And those ones are comped. And, okay. You know, so, I mean, that's the start, know, right? I would say, yeah, we'd probably get about three lines that are comped out of 40 people. Wait, say that again? I'm sorry, you, you broke up. We get about three lines comped, about 15 Oh, three, group, three groups. Three out groups of, out of 40. Four. Okay. 40. What, what, do you, what do you think it would take you to bring that number to, like, five groups? Because I think that's a great base right there. I, I don't think it would happen. Uh, the last time we tried to train and encourage it, we had a whole bunch of people just not play. So do, we go you, with do you yourself as a commander want to sometimes or you don't care either I'm, way i'm not i'm easy either way however i'm not into the open field fighting if, if i'm fighting i want to be fighting over something i want to fight for that tower or that keep i don't want to open field fight which is fair i think I, like i, I lose ahead, my please. my attention span loses for that if i'm fighting it wants to be over an objective which is fair because i think there's plenty of that still you know, there's still a lot of fighting that happens in towers and keeps and SMC. Like what we're doing right now, I'm like, oh, snooze. Should I go sit at spawn for a bit? <laughs> no, what do you mean? We're having a conversation. Elric's about to lead us to victory. Oh, shit. I had still tag. Sorry. Yeah. Yo, how about you just mark me? Give me that tag somehow. Right, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, we can do that. Give me a I'll marker. Put, I'll put two time. markers out. I'll put one on you and then one on myself, hopefully. There we go. Okay, so let's do. Let's what see if there's a you? better one than there. Is Dizzy okay? Is that better? For a square. We put a personal marker or the uh, a you know, heart the target on him. 
get you can put a better one on. I have a, I put the squirrel by accident. Okay, that's fine. Let me yep. do. Let me just flip between star. I think. I'll stay. I'll stay ultra close to you. If you put the heart, the heart what, sticks what if, out more than the. Yeah, what if you did more. blaze and this is just like to have like the best of both worlds? What if like since you run seven days a week, you're like three days. We're gonna focus more on trying to have a comp on those three days, and then the other four days people do whatever you're currently doing. Because I like, I guess my point is, if you have someone who's committed and clearly right. you're committed, symbols and why not try to move in a direction to make yourself more competitive, whether it be in towers and keeps or open field or whatever. And if the comp alone can help you advance that goal, no, but you got It seems like a small a price bill. to pay. I guess. Right Here we go. Take the veil. We're going right. And hold Give me your super speed. After Billy's done. Get ready. Three, two, one. We're just going to pull. Just range, just range. Wait, we're going to bait their bomb. Peel back. They're going to veil. Super speed out. Get ready to turn on green arrow. Three, two, one. Turn on green. Give me pulls to the top if you got it. There we go. Get that pull. Get that pull. Get that pull. Ah, fucking clone. Get ready. Peel back one. Peel back one. Peel back one. Oh, my game just crashed. Nice. Oh, shit. What the fuck? He's got I got mowed and the game crashed me. Wow. <laughs> no. I keep moving wow. I'll pass the type to somebody then. I'll just go down next person. So the mower crashed me. Oh, what God. a piece uh, of trash. I'm coming you back. Want it, you want an indoor or do I pass it to Asta? Uh, whatever you want. I don't, I don't mind taking another one. All right. I'll give you a chance to get mowed again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what, what do you think, Blaze? Just, you know, my comments. I honestly just don't think that they have it in them. Like, I don't think that for the most part they want to run that way. Right. How big is your yeah. roster? Uh, it, it varies from day to day. Some you days we have two squads. Like, we, some days we have plus 50 oh, wow. running with. We have to set up a second tag, but it's mainly PPT. Wow, for PPT, holy crap. If I could interject in that whole one, that topic there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We ran into a problem like a long time ago, similar. If you don't tell people when you recruit people that this is going to happen, like this is what you're expected to do. It's not going to happen after the fact because people join for certain reasons. And if they're not, if they're not told right at the beginning that we're a fight guild or you're uh, be fighting or this is what's expected, it's changing people after the fact. It's just too hard. Like you, it's if, true. That's and true. I, I, I've seen it it's now dust too. Like, because I don't, I have rules basically when I'm, recruiting people like are you able to do this this and this and you understand we're a fight guild we rally uh five six days a week can you do four days at least um do you, what kind of classes do you enjoy playing world of world can you do at least an hour and a half of rally time if you don't set those these kind of things up ahead of time down the road you can't change people like you're just gonna lose and the time that you invest training people is a waste then yeah I, so my, my two so, cents. I, I mean, I think that's a very fair point, quite frankly, and I think that probably applies to most guilds. So what, how do you, the, the, I guess the next question I'll ask is, how do your guilds currently recruit? Like, what does your process look like? And this can be a two-folder. One, so you can let people know that you're recruiting and how to join if they're interested, but also what are the parameters you set for your guilds? We, um, can, start at, we can start at Blaze, since you just spoke up. Yeah, well, basically, I ask them to run with us for a bit, make sure they enjoy our style, because, like I say, it's mainly PPT. Um, and and then the, if they like us and they want to stay, then we bring them in. We typically only bring in SOR, because we are mainly World versus World Guild. A little bit of P PvE starting up now with some new recruits and that, but for the most part, just run with us, see if it's your style. If it's not, I'll suggest, especially, well, I'll always suggest to try out the other uh, SOR guilds, too, because we're very, very different than the rest of them. Asta, you want to go next? Um, restate the question. <laughs> I mean, oh, man. There, there's, there's so I, much stuff out. going on yeah, like uh, i'm trying to listen like oh you take the tag you do this i'm like i'm just trying to follow along man I know. I blacked <laughs> like out recruiting how, how do you guys recruit like what is your process how do people join if they want to join you what uh, are your standards what are the expectations of i mean because you know elric just said that a lot of people if you don't give them explicitly what your guild is about when they join, they get upset if, you know, somewhere along that timeline, you decide to change the, 
you know, the focus of your guild. Uh, yeah, I can. I I totally agree with uh, Elric that expectations need to be set um, very early when people join. Um, usually, the process with fear is if somebody shows interest, we tell them to run with us first. Um, like we we run open plenty before they they put on the tag. Um, and we also explicitly tell them, hey, we understand real life happens, that fucking uh, personal goals within the game. Like, if the squad's running and you're in fucking fractals because you're working on that backpack, hey, cool, man. We're not going to fucking fuck with you, right? Oh, are we allowed to swear? <laughs> I hope yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope we are. Just, All just right. don't use gamer words, please. Oh. Yeah, no anti words. Uh, fair, fair enough. Um, and then from there, it's, it's very much once you're... Once you're behind the keyboard and you're playing with the group, everybody's expected to be using the right the right builds, um, and then cross talking with each other in the parties. So, so it's very much you know we play with our best foot forward, but at the same time we recognize you know not everybody can, not everybody can play with the same at the same time. Right. Hopefully that makes sense. No, it does. Elric, you guys all went to EB. Yeah, yeah we, so you can get on because it was a 20 man oh, queue. Yeah, EB. Are you not reading? We literally <laughs> went to EBG for you, bro. Uh, hold on. Could you repeat the question? No. <laughs> El Elric, uh, <laughs> you're up next. Could you repeat that? Uh, we're still the same question about expectations. Yeah, I guess laid out your expectations for Dusk. You kind of already talked about. Yeah, you know. so there's a, a certain set of questions that I have to ask. Like, okay, what do they enjoy playing? But then again, I usually don't invite people right off the bat. And two, because I have have that 30 core people, I don't go looking for more people. So I, what do I do? I wait for people that follow me constantly who show interest. Okay, I'll say follow me for two weeks if you like the tags that we have. Okay, I'll ask you a, a couple of questions. One, uh, what class do you enjoy playing World of this World? How often can you rally with us? Can you do at least three, four days a week? Um, can you do it if those three, four days that you do, can it at least be an hour and a half of rally time? And I think the last question I ask is, uh, is can you use comms? So I just try to keep it that one, their expectations are there. My expectations are there. They're not going to leave after 10 minutes of rally. Uh, they have classes that I can work with the classes. That's not a big one, but, uh, I just need people like, because again, I'm not. I am ha semi fight serious. I need I need to maintain a core. I need to maintain a certain calm. So that's why I'm asking. Can you do at least three four days a week? Right. Um, yeah, in general. But right now we're not. Uh, I'm not looking for people because we, we do have. We've got like thirty plus core. So any day of the week we'll have a thirty plus core. So I'm not too concerned. But I do recruit a little bit extra because not everybody can make five days, four days. That's not much to dusk. Revalia? So, similar to what uh, Elric said for Flux, we are recruiting, but when we recruit, we we kind of do word by mouth instead. We don't advertise. We just kind of let people follow us and see if they're interested. And then if they've been following us for a while, um, they either usually will whisper us and we say, okay, do you play um, any of the meta professions we're recruiting for? Are you on comms? Are you willing to? I was like, if they were playing something that's like tangential to some, to the meta, uh, like they say, oh, I play on um, Necro, and I say, can you play support Scourge? And I say, are you willing to swap to that? And they say yes. You know, they're more likely to be recruited. And so, um, but yeah, like for Flux, it's like we're running. We tried to like keep. We have open, we open and close recruitment time to time. So if we're like starting to get close to like 50, like squad just flux, then we start closing recruitment and only get people who are like friends or whispers or whatever, or people just interested. If we're like starting to get lower, like we're going to the 40s often and we're not meeting comp, uh, our composition, uh, then we start recruiting uh, more heavily and we start like asking around or seeing if anyone is interested. So um, we follow a strict composition when uh, we just try, which we adjust kind of time depending on the meta. 
And so we we're trying to make sure we fill those those roles. Most people play uh, like two or three different roles at times, but it's been, I just want to also add, it's been because the current meta has a lot of support in it. Uh, it's been a lot harder to recruit for because of that. Um, because you have, uh, you know, the Inspa Chaos, Mesbur, the Firebrand, uh, Support Scourge, and uh, Healer of some sort, which is either like um, Vindicator, but or Druid, etc. So. I actually didn't ask you this last week, Bullyfin, so why don't you go too? Me? Yeah. Could you ask me the question again? No. I refuse. <laughs> Hello, where am I? Where I'm blanking out? <laughs> what is it? How do my, you guys do it, your recruiting? Yeah, so mine is uh, a lot of people. I, so I have, obviously, I have my core, right? And I'm looking at recruiting uh, all the time. Uh, and the, the the reason is everyone, you know, ends up getting burnt out or they want to take a break. So I got I to gotta make sure I have a... A solid core. So there's going to be people that run with us daily. Um, I'm looking for people that have a uh, multi build. If you only can run, let's say Scourge, I'm probably not going to recruit you. Uh, so I look at people who, uh, who who can play support and damage. If you could do both and you're skilled, I take I, I take that in account. And then you'll see me send you a random invite. I'll talk to you, or some people will come to me and say, "Hey, are you guys recruiting?" And then uh, you know I have strict guidelines, like you have to run our build. You have to be able to, uh, we're only world versus world. I, I, make, I make it clear, like, if you're in, in PvE while we're raiding, I'm going to kick you from the guild because that's that's the reality. This is priority over over PvE. Um, and obviously, you got to be able to be a, uh, you got to take shit, right? I'm going to give people shit all the time. That's my job. I want us to get better, and everyone knows we're play, we, we are play to win, not play to lose. So don't come in thinking you're, we're going to come here and just... Have a great time because the goal is to have a great time, but also win fights. Like I fought Indo last night. We had a great time. Man, you know, we were winning again. fights, and <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna keep bringing. I'm gonna keep bringing it up, baby. Fucking this guy wins like three fights. You know, like, hey, just takes best some, just takes some rubs of in. <laughs> I rubs him in. everyone. I went super saiyan. That's all. That's all. Yeah, he but the reality he, is, he, he didn't win fights. He didn't win fights. Yeah, the reality is, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta beef up the core because you know, over the years, you, you're gonna lose people. And I, I like to recruit at least one one to two people a month, and keep it at that just to keep just to maintain the the roster. Uh, but multiplay is the key. And they have to play multiple roles. I don't think it's that hard if you're a commander that uh, plays a lot because people want to join you, see what's all about. It's fun, you know. Nova, how about you? Oh, oh, oh man, oh, this is this oh, is a tough that's one. That's a great okay. question. It's it's tough because I'm just recruiting pugs and trying to get them to uh, you know uh. turn on their monitors. And, uh, <laughs> You're trying to get them to fucking press their keys. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not you know, I, I think I've fallen. So I have a core of like maybe like ten, fifteen. Well, you people, can drop some seed. The rest, have any. I'm sorry. Yeah, the rest are just uh, you know we're kind of just. A lot of my you, guys bro. are fucking new. Okay, they're not from like Queensdale new, but they're they're pretty fucking new. They're just like hey, okay. do I click my oh, yellow shit. bar up here to dodge and. You know, it's it's interesting. So, so like, what are the what are the expectations you lay down then, Nova? Like, when people want to join, be like, hey, is it like bully on the extreme side, or is it more really laid back? Side, like, but at least have like comms and shit. You know, Discord. Use your fingers. You know, don't be uh. To you know, use your fingers, as opposed yeah, to what, your using your toes. Head. I mean, I use my thumbs. <laughs> as opposed to what, using your toes? Excuse me, sir, madam. Are you using your toes when you game? Do you have yeah. your index finger? Are you missing it? You know, I gotta know these. Wait, things. are you Something biased really against people that are missing fingers? Wow, that's toxic. fucked up, bro. That's, that's toxic. That's worse than hate, dude. That's, that's worse than hate. That's fucking toxic as shit. <laughs> worse like, than hate. Yo, some I mean, people may not have that, all their you know, fingers what? at toys. Like, fuck, bro. And, what and a, a fingerist. Is, uh, a double tap the dodge. If you double tap the dodge, you can't get in. It's, it, it's not happening. You now, why is Auntie still in the guild? Oh, she joins you more than me. That's true, true, true. She's a superstar. superstar yeah. I didn't know you were like good, that. Good, good no, I, don't, I don't think we can be friends anymore, bro. I can oh, be friends with a fingerist. Oh, oh, are you are you missing a finger? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, yeah, dude, that's like uh, discrimination at its finest. Wow. Oh shoot. Pulling. Am I fired? Interesting. Yeah. So, you know, it's just pretty much like that. You know, I, I don't have super strict stuff, you know, because I, I just... So you would say you I were just more like, on the casual side. Oh, yeah. I've, all, I've always been super casual. Like, I, when have I sweated enough to, uh, 
to make like a like a GBG guild or anything like that. I just I just like pug manning. So you know, getting getting our little friendly pugs to to get better or try to get better. That's that's. Dude, all these like fucking loot bags. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna. I, just... I took the gate to fifty percent. I'm gonna pass it to Nova. To take it down hey, for the rest. That's me. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Accept yeah, real quick. I s there you go. Yeah, you guys have to use your toes this raid. We're gonna have to resupply, Mr. Nova. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go supply, guys. This is uh, my first time. Uh, He's the virgin. I mean, I think uh, I'm a little bit closer to Bully. Like I, I found the uh, the. I try to maintain a, a core roster of like thirty. And I just mm -hmm. recruit to maintain that 30. I do have flex players. Um, everyone pretty much is a flex player in my guild currently. Uh, you won't get into the guild if you can only play one class. How many classes do you have them uh, like play at least? Everyone three? needs to be able to play a, a DPS, a support, and an ancillary support. So, you know, when I consider Scourge, Chrono, Ancillary... A healer, you know, Druid, Vindy, now Scrapper again, I guess. Um, and then DPS, you know, the normal DPS spread. But I found that while the meta may change and while those, you know, the cla the three, you know, subtypes may change, if they're able to play, like, at least two of them, they're more than able to play the third. It just comes down to building it. And most mm -hmm. players that can play two of those, well, you know, they have no problem because they're, you know, typically a good player. Yeah, it makes you it have so any much easier too. From people that, no, because like, that's the expectation. Like, uh... I think going back to what Elric said is yeah. exactly that. Like when you join mm -hmm. the guild, the expectation is there that you're. We we call it flex players. Like I, I'd say, ninety nine point nine percent of the people in OP is what you would consider a flex player, and that point zero one percent, believe it or not, is me. <laughs> but the fucking oh. benefits of being, being the guild leader, I guess. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm the same boat. Like everyone in my guild can play multi-class. I think we even had uh for some of the people that were uh, like uh, grandfathered in the guild that weren't used to it, got used to it, and it makes it easier because when people take breaks, we need people to fill in those gaps, and it makes our comp it makes makes it easier to gain the comp that we need because everyone's able to flex. So here's a question then: since you're saying you want flex people that can play multiple classes, there's playing a class and just being on the class. Do you check if they're proficient in the class? Oh, 100%. Well, I think that comes with time. That's a great question. Yeah. Really. That's a really smart question. I think it comes with time. So people offer, when the meta changes, and we have, so, I mean, I guess I can, this doesn't tell anything. So, like, for, like, at least the last year and a half, we have basically three comps, maybe at times four comps, which we just change depending on who we're fighting. And, like, and so within those four comps that we run with people rotating, and for builds or however you want to call it, people say, "All right, I ha we have enough of these. I can play this." And then when they log into it to practice, we know that they're gonna, you know that's the first time playing or they're just starting it. You know, we appreciate the fact that they've rolled X or Y to fill you know comp you know three or four for that meta. You know what I mean? So over time, though, as we play those you know a rotating three or four comps over that meta until the next balance patch, you know they they, they do get better, but People suck at it oftentimes in the beginning, for sure. Yeah, and with us, we have a, we have a, we have a team leads for each class, so they test the builds out, and obviously they're gonna let me know and Bullvith know that hey, we're testing the build. If it's viable, we're gonna run it, Rams and then uh, we'll talk to our people. So everyone's responsible for that class. So when when they finalize the comp and say hey, this comp we're gonna run, those yeah. team leads will then verify that they know how to run it. They'll explain it, and you'll see like in our guild channel. Uh, there'll be like a little tutorial on how to run the build and then you know we monitor people you know people are gonna try it and if, they, if they're good most people get used to it uh, we know the people that are just getting one push and we keep track on that I mean I do uh, but you'll see like uh, you know spread, spread the resources and just having other people take care of it and delegating it works out way better which towards the ACs please, real quick. I mean, obviously, way. like, I think, you know, Dusk, you know, I fought Dusk a lot, obviously. I fight Revali a lot, obviously. I, I, I would consider you guys competitive guilds, so clearly you guys have some level of standard that you guys hold your, yeah. your members to, right? Like, it's not like... We do. 
you know, everyone's just running random shit and you're just filling a comp without people knowing what they're doing on that comp. Yeah, right. it depends, like, different guilds, uh, like, again, your I consider, you know, your uh, OP's, uh, like, more of a hardcore type guild, you know, because you're doing, like, those enforcements of particular number and also um, meeting the expectations of having a certain amount of professions or specs available, etc. For Flux, it's, like, the standard... So, oh, give me number. Jeez. I'm, I'm holding, holding. I was getting my loot back. I can't, I can't auto loot. Such oh, bullshit. Please, right. please. You're, you're, you're holding the team back, please. My bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all these gamers here, guys. As I was saying, the, um, here. the, uh, oh, yeah. So, really, for us, it's like, you know, we look at metrics. So, we have, you know, our lead insights logs and things like that. And we're looking heavily at, Okay, are people performing? Are these builds going uh, well? If we're trying out comps, we know it's like a balanced patch. We try out some of our people who are like veterans in a profession, uh, usually who are officers um, or just like really good players in the guild. They'll try certain things, and then we'll see if that a trend happens. Like, okay, we know that you know we already knew from beta testing that rifle mesmer was going to be a thing, and then when we when the, ba the balance patch came out and we were actually going like, oh yeah, barrier has gone up like 20% across the entire squad because of all the all the mesmers now have rifles. You know, it's like, so that, that leads to, you know, more theory crafting and a bunch of other stuff like that. I, I noticed that you guys uh, do a lot of analysis. Well, I guess, I think you guys do a lot of analysis because yeah. oftentimes when I fight you, like on, on like the, I think you guys run what, Monday, Wednesday? Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday, Saturday. Friday, Friday, yeah. So when I fight you on one day, the next time I fight you, you fucking have the identical fucking comp that I ran the, oh, yeah, the right. day before, bro. <laughs> yeah, the, we were very data oriented guild, so we uh, fucking uh, this air. guy, this yeah. fucking guy. Like almost yeah. every time, I'm like, all right, here comes fucking Revalia with our fucking comp one. Get ready to run comp Maybe. two to counter it. Yeah, because like when we see, well, what what happens is like when we lose fights or we fight against a group that we find tough. We then go over the logs and see, like, oh, okay, what's different? It's actually smart. You Not know, a lot like, of guilds do that. To be honest. Like, what's different? What's like, what we lot, like, what, what are we missing? You know, it's something we can actually incorporate. And there's things that we can't, like, when I fight like Bane, that's like the, their composition we cannot incorporate. Yeah, it's it's, it's a very too, unique comp, though. It's how do very you, unique. I'm really, be, I'm really before you go actually, on to that, how do you, how do you do against that comp? And that comp is uh, just so everyone's aware. Bane runs uh, specters, and that yes. comp is only usable. Four or fifty, man. It's not usable for anything. Yeah, it's, that. it's not. It's not. But I, go I ahead. How do you do, typically while. do against their comp? Uh, be, well, when we were, well, and that that comp was really tough because at that time we did not. Um, that was before we started adopting, you know, gas chrono and all those other things that have happened later on. So we were, were at a, a regular comp of four, which was like reaper heavy, you know, and was not doing so well because like their comp is really. Uh, one push wonder, which is basically it's everything w is key. based. It's hardcore w, w key. key. It's very hard yeah. for w key. If you are also a w key melee focused composition, you're gonna lose out yeah, against that. There's too much CC in that stack. Yeah, way too much now, CC in that stack. Now, now today, I don't, I don't know because like right now, like again, we changed to the current meta, so I haven't fought Bane in a long while. So if we if we fight him again, I'll know if our current composition works out against that composition. But I think they when they when scourge uh, barrier scourge became a thing. They stopped dropping. They started dropping the um, the, the specters for support scourges. They're still running so, specters. They're yeah, still running specters. Yeah. Okay, so then they may not. They may not. I saw I a mean, long time uh, they were. For for their group, it's actually so strong because that specter is tw hits twenty players, right? Like it's a twenty player CC. They're usually running eight yeah. to nine of them, and mm -hmm. then on top of it, they have all their guards as well, and the base guards and the firebrand. So if you if, if yeah. you think about it, you have fucking eight times twenty. Right, CC off the specters, and then they're usually running 15 guards, five of them base, you know, 10 of them firebrand. Yeah. So you got 15 and times, you know, uh, 10 lines, and then you got 15 times, you got 10 fucking sinks. So also just think hammer. about that amount of CC. It's crazy. They also run hammer, so they have bring Yeah, they run the, the five base guards run hammer. Yes, that's correct. You guys yeah. actually do look at your logs, huh? I thought we were one of the very few guilds that actually goes over that shit at the end of the night, but I mean, I guess you guys yeah, made the dude. site, right? You guys made that site, right? That's your strips, man. That's your site that people Honestly, use, yeah, right? Yes, exactly. The tiny house thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. How does that work, by the way? Is that like? It's do you a, get to see a... every guild's info, by the way, since they're uploading it to your site? <laughs> no, 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 no. Be honest. Tell us the truth, Rib. <laughs> Tell us the truth. 
The truth is, is this don't. is this how you carbon copy my fucking comps? The no. next fucking raid, <laughs> Rim. <laughs> is, tell us the truth. Tell us the truth. No, for yours, no, no. Like for like we for yours, we actually have to reverse engineer it for like um through different like for log parsing. So we don't we don't go to people's like tiny host logs or whatever. <laughs> I don't know if we believe that now. He's laughing, uh, but he's saying it, guys. He's... <laughs> I laugh because like the allegedly. funny thing is like the funny thing is like I so I'm a very again uh, people who some people who know who my my like real life job is like I'm a computer uh, CS you know programmer so I'm very heavy into analysis and some data stuff. Mode, well, well plus I, I'd, I'd actually consider so. you an honorable guy so even if you did have access which I, I still have doubts whether you do or not I, I think you wouldn't access mode it. Twice? I really? think you wouldn't no. access it. No Why I would not. Be because, because like I think it's like I don't the things that actually like wake your group went out is usually because of strategy it's not like composition is one piece, because what? like a lot of times like you outpatients my group and I'm I have when I have to adjust is usually my command style has to adjust to account for your movement. So like it's not um it's not is it's not the composition is one part Quadruple of it. Quadruple Why am I getting bowed? They really I'm, I'm, I'm not the tag. I'm not the tag. The uh, sure or maybe you just want to hear you on just one you hear on stream to uh? <laughs> talk about how much you came out. <laughs> um, but anyways, like yeah, there's a, like a, a lot like it's like I said the the whole tiny host thing or like the whole um, log thing. It's so how that works is your logs for Arc DPS they go through uh, they use it. There's an app like called Elite Insights. It's like on GitHub yeah. or something, oh. yeah. and it parses it and it outputs it to these readable logs, and then those logs can be posted on a wiki kind of site that you can actually like separate that data and put charts and other things like that too. So like CO does this. Well, a lot of guilds do guilds. it, but who has, like does anyone, and I guess this is a great question because no one really knows everyone. I know a lot of guilds that use it. Does anyone in the system have access to everyone, no. everyone, every guild's fucking data? No, no, they don't. Oh, okay. That host is like a public host. So it's like for wikis. So it's like, we, we can't go to those. So the only, the only way like, you can get access is, but the only is way if is that if guild links link it? To the, if you, yeah, if someone links it and you know their sub URL, whatever. Oh, so it's like, that's, but it's like, even then, like I'd say, like if people were reading, like people are likely, I already assume people were reading our logs or something like that. Fucking and not, assholes. And doesn't really change anything. Cause like. No, you still you know, gotta beat them on the board. You still gotta beat them on the board. Yeah. But I mean, I, I guess it exposes. You know some some data points fairly explicitly, right? Like yeah. the only way to make the current comp work or the current meta work is if certain in, uh, classes, i.e., healers and DPS specifically, are meeting, you know, like the metric points. If they're not meeting the metric points, you can't run the current meta, quite frankly. Yeah, like the th yeah the thing is like those it allows us to see like what's missing. Like because for example, um, what what's something strong about. Your group again. What's what you're running is the well, which is just going nerfed in the next patch on Tuesday. Is yeah, the Hill Hill Vindies because you have like the you have the boon uh, duration extension for their um, their trade. Fucking hacks! I'm telling you, this man is looking at our <laughs> logs. He's hacking. He's hacking. But there's a, not a lot of guilds. A, not, it's getting nerfed. So it doesn't matter. So I'll say it. it not, a matter, yeah. well, not a lot of guilds ran it. Not a lot of guilds ran it. No, not a lot of guilds ran it. Broken as fuck. But, we are, like I said, I already know, I already have an idea what the next trend's gonna be because of like what no, the you weapon don't. stuff. No, you I don't. Idea. Get out of here, Riv. Get out of here. Stop fucking <laughs> like pre hacking our, our data, Riv, all right? So, no. <laughs> is it Cornerstone or Bone in the Corner? Oh, Bone in the Corner, dude, for sure. Talk about uh, what, what Arena Net's doing to us? Yeah, do you think it's Cornerstone or is it really Bone in the Corner? I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, it, it, do you guys do you guys like the w the direction World v World is taking generally? Like, beyond meta, fine. Meta changes, balance changes. Clearly, Anet has no fucking vision to what they want to do no. because I they've said one thing, not... changed it like fifty times in the last two years. But I how do you guys feel happy. about World v World generally? So, bone in a corner, confirmed. Uh, it's fucking boring. The fact that you need almost what four supports of some kind, and then well, you that's get the meta. One. But I mean, what about like the yeah. actual? The gameplay. content, the yeah, game, content. the content and gameplay in this thing. Dead. Well, like, are, are you are you no, bored no, no, no. of taking the same towers and keeps like for the umpteenth time? Are you bored of flipping SMC for the millionth time? 
Um, that I don't really care about because I look at World v. World as player-generated content, right? Like, like PvE. Some dickhead at ArenaNet's office has to develop that voice lines, all that shit. When you come in the World v. World, depending on your matchup, you know, the fights, the fights, and what's going on is different from night to night. Problem so that is, doesn't that doesn't necessarily bother me. There's no incentive right now to to do anything extra. Every guild's killed every guild. Yes. We've, take, we've taken SMC. We'll look at the points. I'm Basically. good. I'm good. That's why we have to uh, fight there needs China to be, there has and to be the EU servers. No, we would we'd lose if we fought any other uh, server, like and China or EU. Yeah, but that would be the most... Uh, that would keep it exciting, I, though. I think it would keep it exciting. I think it would unite NA a little bit. Because NA is... You know, I don't know. How do you guys feel? Do you think NA is kind of toxic? It's a little toxic, right? No. E Absolutely not. I mean, compared to EU, I don't know if you could say that, but think, NA in itself is pretty toxic. I don't NA. know. I think NA is very fractured. Like, as in, like, um, for example, I, we, you know, uh, for these links, right? This is the first time I've ever been to Link to uh, Blackie. How do you guys like and that, I, by the way? They're Good. fine. They're like, as in, like, uh, guild-wise, they're fine. But the weirdest thing was, like, most of their community is on uh, uh, Alliance Discord, uh, not on the Blackie Discord. And so, like, it's been weird, like, again, being linked to different servers and seeing what their communities are. And I, a lot of them are, some of them are, like, ghost towns where it's, like, okay, who, I, I, because I'm the admin of the SOR Discord, I get in touch with whatever guild leaders to coordinate reset and stuff like that. Who's the asshole for mowing me so many times? Shit. Someone, your biggest fan. Fuck. The, uh, oh, my God. But the, um, but anyways, like, the weirdest thing is, like, you know, Whoever's being to every police, server now, like there's very few servers that are very organized and still have like a Discord, a server Discord that's like somewhat organized. But or that's something Anet's like that. fault. Like it, the the yes. day that Anet announced alliances, server communities are gone. Like so, what's the point? It happened I way guess. before that. Like as in like it, because like guilds have been dying, you know, left and right, or being merged in or absorbed and stuff. Which, yeah, I, mean, I guess that's the natural state of the game. But yeah. like. What, what's I guess I, I I get what you're saying, but what's I guess my my counter would be like what's the point? Because I agree with you, like servers are that way, but that's because I don't see the usefulness of servers anymore. No, I don't see you either. I'm just saying like I, I'm I actually want alliances to happen because they can finally end this whole like thing and uh, make it focused on guild as as a source of the community. You know, because right. right now um, that's sort of there, but it's like you know you're separated by servers and stuff like that. So it's like, like I said, it's very fragmented, you know. It'll be right easy now. for guilds to recruit post alliances yes, or post restructuring. During the beta, it was like interesting that we were actually getting recruits from across like different servers, that, like, because we were like, you know, where our matchup was on the on the alliance beta, and we're picking people like, oh, I want to join your guild because you're fun to play with, and then we would transfer that once ways were over, we transfer them, you know, to SOR. Right. But well, it's like, so think about this, right? What if we did, like we were talking about last uh, one, NA versus EU, you have more opportunities to recruit because you'd be, you have a bigger pool of people to recruit from versus stuck to one server. I think if they so, did, NA versus EU would be interesting. I don't know how they'd implement it. I, I, I would love to see how, it. I would love to fucking did. see it. But be, yeah, it would definitely They're not going to do it. Like, not the game, do it. That's their end the, game. game. The game mode is stale, right? Think about all the, the veterans that have left this game because the game mode has not changed. That's why I said it's it's not cornerstone of the game. It's it's no, it's, it's being boned in a corner I mean, because it's, it's yeah. there's nothing there's no incentives for the for for current guilds. There's no incentives for for anything other than hey they increased the uh, your your kill rate so now you can go higher than uh, the 250 kill mark. But other than that, that's, EDX, there's nothing. EDX, there I come. Yeah, that's it. Like that's stupid. Like change the map matchups uh, or change the maps up. Like do something with EOTM integrated into World versus World. Something has to change. You can't have yeah. the same thing for ten freaking years and expect people to just say, "Hey, cool, I'm gonna stay playing this game mode." That's why yeah, you the, lost so much population. Agreed. I want to uh, add to that point that um, like it has been feeling like it's an afterthought. So uh, getting to like into a central uh, question, which was, you know, I feel like it's not a cornerstone. We've been kind of on the back burner. And when they're really called cornerstone gaming, I'll adopt it. I'll adopt bone, bone 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 gaming, guys. So, anyway, a, but anyways, like, um, for example, the last uh blog post was like talking about the Lord having a heal ability, and it's a stretch goal. Like, it just felt a little bit like a slap in the face because it was like, oh, here's a little 
full treat, you know? <laughs> like a, you know, it's a shitty have... stretch goal, too, to yeah. the top. And it's like, oh, like you might have this in the next patch or might have it later. So it just feels like it's unaddressed, you know? And then for and a lot of people, we have like, you know, five, ten years of complaints or uh, feedback from players talking about common issues on the game mode that are still not addressed. We have never, like, no. We have, you know, the Primus of Alliances is still in beta. The still Q bugs, there's still all these other things that have been left unaddressed, uh, map bugs and stuff like that. This flip. And, and so, um, you know, it's just we feel like we're not being That's appropriately addressed as a, as, a, as a game mode. Or yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. I 1000% I agree with you. Uh, you Holy know, I think, uh, hey, change the title to Corner Boned. Not go. Corner, 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 Corner Boned. Corner Boned. That's I my mean, like, <laughs> Corner Boned. Can, can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, along the, along this line of thinking, do you guys think that, um, okay, if we're, if we're looking at, you know, the, the gameplay feels stale, would, would you guys agree Please. that there's too much in the defense for defenders? I mean, they get E Waypoint, Chilling Fog, yeah, fucking. Airship defense. Now they want to add that stupid. You know what's gonna happen? Thing? I agree with you. You know what's gonna happen, right? Like everyone knows what's gonna happen when they add points. the healing into the Lord, right? The uh, every group now is just gonna camp that Lord room with two or three oh, rams. Shit up. You know, yep. Just just camp the Lord room with two or three rams. Sit there and fucking pace, prosper. Pace, pace. Shit is not gonna flip anymore. Right. Like yeah, you, you, there's too much defender back. advantage as is. I agree with you, a thousand percent. Falling backwards in three, two, one. Falling. I'm gonna go. Blaze, what do you here. think as a PPT guild? What do you think about the current, uh, you know, GW2 world v world scene? And what do you think about the Lord heals? It's gonna become a lot harder for you to flip things. Yeah, I stacking think. on the Lord and just popping heals. It's gonna be crazy. Is it's Blaze scary. Still here? I'm not sure. It's scary though. There's a certain guild that I'm not gonna mention their name. 60 people will you siege on Lord and not push you organized. Yeah. I didn't mean to put a cat, yeah. that's funny. Are you talking about Gem? No, mention, no I'm just not, not going to mention names. <laughs> There's already a group that does it. I know it. I knew it. Call the fuck out. Spill the fuck out. There's already a group that does it. Already group that does it. Fucking uh, BP. BP already stacks on, on top of Rams in Lord Room. True story. Push we can, uh, yep. Yeah, but don't they do that, don't they do that in the attack? Do they do that in defense as well? Down, so they do three, that in the two, defense, one. and it's yeah, going to be even harder defense. to take stuff in the defense. Especially I think, actually, you might be right. They do, do, the they do do it on F2? the defense, too. Please. Actually, Revalia did it against me one time in Bay. Revalia, don't ah, think I haven't forgot. What I do? You built a ram, and you freaking pushed me with oh, Rambo, yeah, yeah, you jerk. Did. I did that because I did the Grimaldi tactic, is what yeah. I did. Wow. Yeah. I haven't forgot. <laughs> I nice. haven't forgotten. I go in. I, I go in. I was like, "This motherfucker has ram buff on his 50 man blob," and then he doubles Toxic. back to yeah, the ram before again. We, um, before we finally realized, uh, I don't know how long ago that was. Like, was it recently or is it the? Was it like a couple weeks back? I think it was like two weeks ago. Yeah. Toxic. He, he's so did, BM. Did you I thought we were friends. We thought we were buddies. We're kind of like just frenemies. BMing me. <laughs> What'd you say? Frenemies. <laughs> frenemies. Get like out of here. <laughs> you BM'd me with a Ram buff fight, bro. You know how busted that is, right? You know it that is shit really busted, is broken. Yeah, it's busted. like, it's a very. Yeah, it's, like I said, like I said, uh, BP uses against this all the time, so it's, it's really like, annoying. It, it's BM Rain as chase. fuck. Waiting Please no any more Revalia. Please no. Let us take our wins and losses honorably, sir. We will. And then, like in the field, yeah, I will. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, you, you in the field. <laughs> Half the fights are in structures, bro. So, so now we need to get Grimaldi the next oh, day. Oh my god. <laughs> any confirmation? Oh, uh, I, you know, I think I think guilds that have that disadvantage and need like need that. I think it's fine to use it, right? But I don't think your guild is one that needs to use it. No, you take don't. wins. You take really wins don't. just fine, good sir. You take wins just fine. I don't know. I don't know what spurred me. When we, uh, I, when we fight, I don't know what spurred me to do it. I think maybe because we we could have lost a lot or something like that, and we're like we're just gonna go like once this time or something. Yeah, and you know what yeah. happened that next fight, you fucker. <laughs> yeah, range haze. I'm waiting for the timer to go down 50 seconds before I push Lord. I'm gonna use now. it at tonight's fight with uh, Indo. Okay. Oh, God. Dropping uh, three three rams. You don't need to. That's one, the thing that's broken feet. about it. You can one, use one ram, and then long as someone different yeah, takes it over, yeah, but you're gonna hit one, so I need to put it over. On it. <laughs> you hit so you one, just want it up, Perma? Uh, range rate. I'm just waiting again. I'm waiting for the 30 second timer before I push in. 
I feel like Bullyfoot doesn't do anything small. Oh, OJ's. Oh, me uh, left three, two, and Never. Swing. Reverse, reverse, reverse. <laughs> and hit whatever's there. Don't encourage him, please. Don't encourage him. It's, it's bad enough happen. that we have to deal with this man. <laughs> toxic, dude. Toxic. Yes, Catch you up. are. You are Force absolutely weakness. toxic. Look, you, we're talking over poor Rivalia who's trying to command three, here, two, like one. a good commander, and you guys are just talking over him. That's okay. I'm focused on commanding. <laughs> it's, that's one of the things. It's like talking and commanding time is one of the hardest. Like, as in talking as in like a separate conversation compared to what's on the screen. Usually for like flux raids, it's really quiet because like we're, I'm, we're focused on the fight in general. <laughs> and it's just like... This is very anti that, so this is this is it's like really different in powers. Yeah, welcome to a hate raid. What is three, toxic? <laughs> two, one, advance to me. Get rid of See, we'll, my veil we'll talk, And we'll talk, talk shit while we're raiding. Veil, second veil. Take it. He's red. Posture me a little bit. Pulling. Posture. Go right. Just step up. Chaos sanctuary on clash. Like, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. They're spread out. They're spread out. Hold here. Grind. Reversing soon. What would you guys like to see? If you had, like, if Anit was to say, Three, hey, two, we're listening one. to you guys, what would you like to see? Let's start uh, with the, let's start with... New content? Elric, <laughs> Elric, <laughs> Elric hasn't spoken. Elric, speak up. What would you like to see? I think Lord, at this point, it's like... Two, one. You, we're, like, at a point where you, you can't expect too much from Anit, but... No, 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 okay, okay. Ideally, uh, I know Put that mean. aside and say if there was a wish list, uh, there would grant you one world v. world wish. What would you want, like to see? Uh, It'd probably have to be fighting EU, the EU Seasons. servers. I like yeah. that. I like that. Asta, what would you like to see? Oh, Throw me left, three, two on this way. Um, I, I, these I these think if, cards. if they're gonna keep all of the defender fucking tactics, in my opinion, they should change it based on the tier should match the objective. So you shouldn't be able to have an E waypoint until your shit's tier three. Like that promotes people mm. fucking fighting tooth and nail to hold on to that. To shit. hold on to it. Interesting. That's yeah. actually because, an interesting idea. Because if you think about it, it's like if it's a paper nothing and they get an E waypoint on it, it's like and your your guys ain't got the coverage, it's like, well we ain't fucking getting that. That's fucking bullshit. You know, so i guess you have to balance it out. You have to give the attacker enough opportunity before you get the big cool guy abilities. Alright, three, two, one. Here's this air cart. If Red pushes in on Clash on, but Blaze, what do you what, what would you like to see? What's your one world v world wish? Alliances. Restructuring. <laughs> you just want to see restructuring right away. See that in ten more years. Interesting. Res. Rivalia. Oh, go ahead. No. Say that again. You you cut out again. An underwater map. No, oh, Blaze, please. They, they they can't even balance That's the land toxic. the land abilities. Don't throw wow. in water weapons. For They'll right. never oh, do it. Wow. <laughs> 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 Blaze wants everyone to run Ellie's. <laughs> All Ellie's wow. come out. <laughs> Res. Lord and three, two, is that your floor. secret meta, Blaze? Be honest with us. Are you trying to see an Ellie comeback? Is that why you want an underwater map? Give me a reason for those underwater legendaries I made. We're pushing right side. Take my veil. Thanks, Ray. Clash here and hold. Clash is choke. Pushing through in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Push again. Rivalia, what about you? What's your one world v world wish? Um, it is. I'm trying to think. Reverse something in a few seconds. Three, two, one. Uh, the... And you can't say a thousand more wishes. That's no, 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 no. I, I, I feels like, I like, something new, like a, a new map is definitely something I really want. Um, or, uh, I had to. Oh yeah, I want one feature that I really would want is uh, I'll hold the circle. But stay in the French. Stay in the French. Stay in the French. Range to range south. Stay in the outer ring. Uh, what I want to get is um. I see it. See, I wait from the middle. Just cover me outside. The um. So, one thing I suggested a long time ago was a, in order to take other objectives, you got to connect them together. So, like, they say you want to take Gary on an enemy BL, you have to take your tower to go to your keep, your, your keep, and then your keep, then move up, to, move up the map basically. Tug of war, and basically. Tug of war, yeah. I think it was like something similar was in Warhammer. Uh, it's way an back. interesting concept, but then let me Let's throw wait. this back to you. I, 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 on, on premise, I think it's an interesting idea. But then, how would you stop Guild just super stuffing siege into the structures on the outer end and just hard camping them? I also with think siege? that the the structures should be weaker because like this already too much like defense. 
you know, as in, like, there's so much siege here and stuff like that. Like, the, uh, when they suggested giving the Lord health, and, uh, uh, health buff, I'm sorry, the health ability, healing ability, that's just giving more to defenders, which they already have. Like, I already which deal is with, straight trash. I already had to deal with cloud, like, right, like kind of like what's happening right now, like, deal with clouds, putting down siege and stuff, like, pushing northeast, three, two, one. I was going to haze northeast a little bit and then reverse on south soon. Haze, right here, heal up. Reversing south in three, two, one. Back to the circle, grind the circle here. Be curving me clockwise and killing NPC and heart here. What if there was an tactics. idea, like, kind of based upon that? So say uh, each side has, this is just a, a, a number I'm throwing out there. Say each side has 100 guards total, right? Yep. And then as you captured more things, the guards get split evenly. So that the yeah, groups push and, push you know, guilds and servers or, you know, alliances that have a lot of structures, the mm. amount of guards per that structure is, like, less. And then once you're down to that one fucking structure and you're just getting, you know, 2v1 or you got nothing left, you're, you know, all those guards are just packed into one structure. Mm. But say you had the entire SMC, all those guards are split up between all those structures. So it's, like, more of a dynamic balancing. Would that be interesting? I, I don't know how, uh, if it, because the issue with that is like, is that easier or harder to balance? It feels harder, wouldn't it be? To like mechanically make that fair. Well, I mean, like, for example, if Maguma has every single thing on EBG, oh. and, you know, I don't know if that happens nowadays, say they have X number of guards total, it's all split between every single structure on EBG. Because right now, people in Maguma gets entrenched in they can't take anything but if there's no guards in there because you know they're they're past that cap or whatever you know one or two dudes can just run in and just cap everything back at the same time yeah yeah our guards on the department taking structures i mean like it's like i feel like if you're outnumbered like I w there should be a rally mechanic like the seat i'm thinking like a previous interview like you and i talked about this like um like a siege razor mechanic for people but it's like better than just the current one like you'll just if you're outnumbered and you're not you're not getting a lot of support it'll kind of like right. push like lead you forward i feel like the what map like what alpine has and ebg has is a natural good map design where it funnels everybody towards injective here and on, on ebg it's smc right all roads lead to smc for alpine always load uh, all roads lead up north and then but desert everything is like in a huge box and then there's nothing in the middle quite that leads towards garrison, right? So I feel like part of it is like good map design, but also there should be mechanics that help new players know what they need to do. And one of my biggest suggestions was the game needs to have like kind of like in, like Mag does naturally, be able to um, be able to push players in a direction on a map without the use of commanders. What, what I mean you... by that, like, what I mean that that is like, because right now they're like, when I log in and I'm logging in sometimes and there's no commander, people are like, where's the commander tag? Where's the commander tag? I almost feel like they should need, oh, we're behind this three, two, and we're going to red here. But like, I, I want, I want like more, like for less, like more opportunities for the communities that are servers, not servers per se, but like the side, yeah, the side to, yeah. to, to engage, to want to engage, to want to push forward without having someone have to lead them. But I mean, the if you do it that way, and let me throw this as Christian like, you know, devil's one. advocate to, to that idea, because I'm not opposed to it. But then what would guilds like, you know, GD do? Blaze, she, she basically just said that she just wants to get people mm. together, tries to PPT, Ooh, you know, and she's not interested in, in fighting, unless it's in a structure. But say, you know, there's two structures on a side, and you have a guild like mine, that's, you know, able to just get between both structures and ultra Some camp board. those two structures. No one's getting past that. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't matter. Like, I, I can't even think of the last time I've ever defended a structure. Like, I, it's been fucking at least a year and a half. Like, you, you let guilds like mine just camp a structure, and, and nothing's going to get taken. Right? Like, I, I don't know. What do you think? The Lord Healing would be... would force the Cloud to come closer to GD, where we have more of a fighting chance than what we do with the Cloud. Yeah. That's a fair point with the Lord Healing. Going back to keep them I mean, on the other side, I think, you know, like you said, for guilds that's like good. yours, that, I think that's a great idea. Like, you should be able to access, but I don't know how you balance that so that other guilds that don't need it don't exploit it. Like, I think for you, Blaze, like, when you're defending something, you should definitely drop two fucking siege rams, one on each side, and just fucking, you know, use the fuck out of the ram buff. It's a huge, huge, huge defensive. It's massive. 
Yeah, we tend we tend to use siege when we think about it. We use siege often when we're capping things. Do I'll put down a shield gen in the in the Lord room just to help us along? You put the the ram buff probably will do you you know yeah. better service than the shield gen because it's uh, a it's a fifty man fifty percent damage reduction. Now it depends too what we're up against too. Like I mean, there's just some He's... groups that we're not gonna beat no matter. Right. Right. It doesn't matter what we put down. We can cover the uh, Lord Room in in um, in Siege, and it's not going to help. Just with our comp, right? Or yeah. lack of. <laughs> right. Build this three. If, if we're talking about, like, PPT versus fight groups, um, could there be a possibility that they could change, like, the types of squads? Because right now, no matter what group you are, we're all using the same squad UI, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, at a certain point, successful guilds will, will get bigger and bigger unless said guild is, is putting certain barriers to entry in the way. What if ArenaNet to break up and to disincentivize big play for the sake of big play, they made types of squads? So that would like, kill the game like, mode. You think yeah. so? Oh, yeah, 100%. Right. That, okay. that, would, that would kill the game mode 100%. All right. You'll lose way more people than you, uh, than you think. I mean, I, th I think... It's an interesting idea, but then they would funnel guilds like you know, Blaze said at the beginning that sometimes you know people in her guilds He's you know kind of just pass through or another guild or whatever. I think that would increase the like the stronger guilds just taking more of the players. Like right now, for example, like I get probably thirty to thirty-five applications a month, and I reject a vast majority of them just because I'm not interested. And investing the time to train someone up but if i needed the players or if i wanted to go bigger than 30 i could you know accept more applications and then invest the time to you know take them so Pushing in there's already it. a little bit of a funnel system you know existing in gw2 you don't want it to become where like for a perfect example with flux like in, in yeah, volume i'm gonna use an example one. like you know, Flux has the capacity, in, <laughs> no oh, pun intended, oh, no pun intended, know? to, to yeah, accept more players than others. But imagine if, like, Revalia just took every fucking person that applied, right? And then there's no one left for everyone else, no? Well, no, no, no. M maybe I didn't explain what I was getting at. So, oh, yeah. so like, you could keep the 50 we'll cap, five. and oh, that's, like, five. a general five. squad. Okay. Then you choose, like, we specifically oh, yeah. want to be a 10-man Havoc, right. so you get some kind of benefit. You could have 30, uh, like, like, a buff, like, like a buff, like a buff. Yeah, like a buff. So like for you, you like, prefer to run 30. Mode. <laughs> Maybe you choose the configuration where you get defense or off as, as a benefit. Go. Interesting. Order. Wouldn't the best solution how would you? How would you prevent people from exploiting that? I I don't know. I, I literally was just mulling it it's over. An, as it's we it's actually down. an interesting like, idea. I, I don't I don't know. So like you if you're a PPT guy, you could have your buff be like, I take down doors twice as fast. Mm -hmm. yep. But maybe you, to balance it, you'd have to lock it in because then people would just change it to the PPT buff to like knock down the structure and then change back to the Free fight push. buff. Our so speed. maybe like maybe. you have to sit with the buff Our for like an hour or two and be pot committed. Or maybe maybe set it set it by guild and then the you, can't change, you, you have to do one once, once a week. week. Interesting once idea. Week. I think that's an interesting you know. idea. I'm not gonna lie. All the way to Lord. And guilds like Blazes, who's just out to cap as many structures as possible, as quickly as possible, gets to take them down at, at faster than, you know, she normally would. It's an interesting idea, if they're able to balance it. I don't know, what do you guys think about that idea? It's novel, to be sure. Uh, too many exploits. Too many ways to exploit it. Yeah, I think they just have to keep it simple. Yeah, yeah so you get a siege buff, 50% greater buff. attaches to... I don't know how you how you stop multiple people from you know you know attaching them you, to multiple guilds. Yeah. Or maybe once the buff goes on the commander, it, that's how it locks in. Three push for that Three. week. Three. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it. Take it so. Clash here, clash here on the bottom. It's an interesting idea though, if they're able to stop the exploiting. Pushing back up in a few seconds. Three, two, one. Where a problem with that would be is if you've got five different yep, guilds, got some five different guilds, can I now as a commander pick five different buffs, one from each guild? Yep. Yeah, that's the thing you have to stop. You, you have to right. stop the ability He's to below. do that. It is an interesting idea, oh. though. Uh, like, we need ideas like that to shake up the game mode, quite frankly. Oh, shit. Welcome we need more to guys. Res. 
Yep. Pushing solution. Solution. Three. Four solution. Maybe, four maybe corner, instead of it being uh, guild based, maybe it's commander based. Like a count. Pushing base. down in five seconds. Four, three. But still can two, be exploited. Walls and clash. Walls and clash. Yep. I think what they have to do is they have to do something with the rewards. Pushing up in three one, seconds. Three. Or at least three things have to happen. One. one squad size has to be capped to thirty. You can make a second squad, fine. But when you have a squad of thirty, things happen. You'll get better rewards. And there's gonna be rewards if you take things, hold objectives. Hold he's below, he's below. There has to be some incentive for new people and for the current people. Pushing, pushing, pushing. And also I'm, promote smaller smaller sizes. I mean you're preaching to the choir when you recommend that, but how would how would you feel about that, Revelia? Yeah. Would how would that affect that type of change affect your guild? Because your guild out of everyone here is the guild that runs fifty fifty the most. Yeah, it depends. It wouldn't affect him because he can do two two squads and he'd be yeah because like benefits, the thing right? yeah the thing with flux is like we actually so i don't know how many people know this is that flux has odd team even team so we actually sometimes can split at will to do certain objectives or if we need to say we're in fighting garrison and there's like two sides that are like pouring in we will split into odds and evens and then the sub the jekyll or another commander will take over the odd the the odd squad and then they'll we'll split off. So if we if we were doing something like forced to limit to thirty, or or what or something smaller, we just, I mean, remember in Guild Wars two before the squads existed, people had five, just five man parties, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So it'd be the same thing. It wouldn't stop people from. So you're not up. opposed to the idea. I don't. It'd be inconvenient. <laughs> it'd be it'd be, it'd be inconvenient, but I don't know how I feel about it. It, it wouldn't change. Bit, I think it would not change anything. It would not. It wouldn't really change a whole I think, lot. I, I think it may not change things for your guild, but I think Elric is right that it may change things in regards to how other guilds form up and maintain their rosters. Because yeah. right now, like, do you? How often do you run like sub thirty five? Like, if you have like, I don't know how often this happens because I don't know how you, your guild works. Saturdays, but say, say you you log in and you're like, hey, we only have thirty players. Do you like? Are you like, like? Are you like fuck? We're not a, you know, we're not 50. Do you like ever call the raid, or are you like this no. is not really worth our time? No, we we're or... still run. So Saturday, because Saturday raids are, don't have the full 50. It's because uh, people we usually are 35 or 30 ish on Saturday, and then the rest of the squad's filled with either pugs or people from the alliance uh, between our guilds. And we not, like last weekend. I think the highest they got was like 36 people in the squad. Or something, or at least yeah. in comms. So, so it's uh, yeah. So it wouldn't you know? So I mean, then I I think it'd allow other guilds to at least say, hey, thirty is the number that I need to maintain my rosters to. Because I bet you like a lot of guilds because the cap is fifty, and maybe this is what you were trying to say, Elric. If it's not, yep. let me know. Yep. But Both because of the cap is fifty, guilds just try to build to fifty. Yeah. Where if the cap was thirty, they'd actually try to build to thirty. And what you may find is that if you have two groups of thirty on the board, instead of both groups kind of touching each other to fight the other two groups of 30. Oh. Maybe they fight each other one at a time. Yes. Oh my but there's also Is some it? other benefits too. It teaches people to play with 30, push with 30. Does anyone want to trade tag? Because I've, I've been, I've been added for a little bit. Ask the two Elric or Asta or I don't know. I'll give it to Elric, I think. I'm, I'm, good. Good. I, I'm just enjoying the conversation. Okay. Yeah. Pa I'm pass it to Elric then, pass it to Elric. All right, all right, all right. Let's go cap essence, I guess. I don't know. I, I like. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a proponent of it. You, I mean, clearly, and I do that anyways. So. Yeah. Just a just a historical note. Uh, where, like Flux has not had like a full Flux fifty, for like, a few months now. So like, what you see is usually allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> well, I don't believe it. Yeah, listen, no, I, listen. I, I, I use the Flux capacitor website when I upload my logs, and I see exactly how many you have, Revalia. I mean, don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to like, me. It's like. It's like when when you run you know, like as in you have thirty year core and you have lock you know you lock down your squad but you have like you who love to follow outside your squad right. It's very little now because I'm private pinned since oh, like you're hidden. I'm always yeah, so I'm not now. I'm not hidden so since like since like is... July I'm always hidden now even when I'm yeah. even when I'm pugmanning I'm hidden I'm hidden I public tag thirty now. Interesting, because yeah. like uh, when I because when I tag I'm always like public so it's either like it's either people fill the squad or the squad doesn't get so filled. So you get the whole map on you. It depends. Like uh, I think the weekends are like, even I don't know. It, it it's it's because like it's it's due to not flux because it's because of me, as in I played for so long, you know, similar to you or our folks here, that like 
you're, you know, if you're a known Pugmander, he will want to join your squad, right? So it's like, for me, my tag up on any prime, you know, I'll get a whole bunch of people that wants to join squad because they either played with me or they know, you know, why, you know, how I perform in general. So, but like I said, it's just like, um, but for pure, like, I just, what I was saying before, for pure flux, I wish we had, we did at times in history had like 50 plus and also like a overflow squad, but that hasn't been the case for like a year or two. Would think, you ever consider running less? Would you ever consider like just saying, hey, my I would have to change the culture of the guilds. So if I was going to run it, uh, it wouldn't be flux if it was. Uh, what, what I mean by that is like I would basically re have to create a different guild at that point. Right. If I want if I want to run say like i'm running 30 and i'm being very elite about it the culture has to be completely different to make that work because would you flux, ever consider it though no because i i because everyone in flux is like is it more of a casual atmosphere and allows us to have flexibility casual like, 50 that requires come get out of here revalia right. don't you casual don't you try 50. to repackage that no, don't, don't, don't. i just wrote that down well, Don't you try to repackage hey, that, Revalia? <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but it's like the main thing is like when I say casual, as in like I'm able to have flexibility. If right, I, right, right. I'm gonna like bust your had, chops. I'm busting your chops. Like I said, if I had 30, like the issue of 30 or 25 for that matter is 25 is five, not feasible. If if, 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 if if five of those people like decide, like got burned out and left, I would have to immediately scramble to recruit. But what know, if or, you just don't? Re what if you stop recruiting and it naturally timbers down to 30? The guild becomes unhealthy. Like uh, it's no like, uh, way. It, yeah, I guess like the way, like I said, the, it's a, the what I, I'm talking from like a guild culture standpoint, not a like performance or things like that. And it's like it would be a very different guild. Um, the reason why the 50 is like the atmosphere of all these people have known each other for like. No, no, like but like I, I, you, you, yeah, you, but you're not you the must, only guild. You must that's have like to that. recruit, right? You must yeah. have to recruit to maintain your fifty. What if you just stop recruiting and the people just naturally stop playing less, and you're down to thirty? I it just I don't know. It's just like I, then, it's then just hypothetical, is, right? Right? That's just hypothetical. It's hypothetical. Like, the thing is, like I wouldn't have, uh, like I said, it would be very different in the sense that I would have to make more management decisions, and I would have to, I would probably get burned out way faster, because like. I, I'm, you know, I don't have as much time as I used to, and I just like to manage a, a guild, to manage the guild and do all these other things. So it's like if I wanted to be that 430, I would have to be super hyper involved into it. So what you're work. saying is you really want to have a life. Yes, exactly. Because I, I have my my. I don't job know if that's with, true though, right? Bully runs 30. He's yeah. he's competitive. He what, he and run it, three three nights a week. Four yeah, here's a here's the thing. So Ravali, I was in your shoes once upon a time when I was on SBI. I ran a solid fifty to sixty every freaking day. All right, and there came to a point where I said, "Hey, I want to turn the ties. I want to become a fight guild because I, I fought everybody. There was no guild that I was scared of. I fought it. I fought Indo, Keck, I name them all the good guilds out there. I fought them all. Then I come to a conclusion: fifty is way too big to fight these guilds because a it's a sloppy play in my opinion." Right? It's hard to control 50. If I could control 35, 40 and shrink it down to, like, right now I'm going for 35. If I shrink it down, then I'll, I'll, I think I'll enjoy the game mode more. And it'll be more, more competitive for me. Plus, I still have my core team that I enjoy playing with every day. I mean, it's, it's like my second job, right? But also, they're like my friends virtually. So nothing changed in the culture of the guild. It's just we shrunk it down to a point where it's manageable and it's more competitive. And it more it's it's more catering to our style, because yeah. a fifty man group to me was to me was overkill, and I ran it for the game's been out twelve years, so let's call it half. Uh, it's been yeah, tw let's call it six years. I was pugmanning fifty plus, and I and I broke it down to like thirty five. And yeah, it was like, at thirty. I'm at thirty five. Like I, nothing I, changed dynamically. I have no argument, as in like I don't disagree with you in the way you run, and it works great for you. It's just the issue for Flux is like, if I decided to be 30 and I want to perform as 30, then many people would have to be kicked from the guild, basically, because then you had to consider performance. And, the, and this is for any game that has like, you know, like small groups of people, like in PvE, not in this game, but like other people games. People got to carry weight. People got to like carry, carry their weight, right? And so when you have a smaller group, there's less flexibility and uh, let's say less leeway uh, wiggle room. 
and like there's more responsibility for people's performance, right? That's a and fair then, assessment. And it gets, oh. it gets, and it gets so, more sweaty. Would, would you like, argue? Would you, for, would you then say, like that being said, like out of your 50 men, would you say that you're, you're and, and this is not to be disparaging, but would you say like your core that you can rely on that's carrying the squad past, you know, basic five mid is what, 25 to 30 anyways? Or do you think it's less than that? It could be, if I'm being really harsh, it could be like less than 20. Holy if I, shit, if really? I was being really harsh. To be honest, though, you, you, I, 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 think you're, I think you're giving I yourself, uh, no, no, I, no, I think you're giving yourself and your group, uh, you're, you're, you're being they too modest. Really well. so you guys I, perform, I, I, you guys say, perform well. Yeah, this is why I say, I say, there's no fucking I, way that you're carrying the, the, your, your performance is being carried by 15 players, bro. No, like, there's no fucking way so because, I say, that's why I say GVG quality. Like, I say, like, esports, like, so S tier, you're saying, you're S tier, you might be 15, A tier, you're probably, what, another 15? Fifteen, and then the rest is just, you know, yeah. people that kind of are there, but kind of maybe not. If I'm Dude. saying like above average, there's many, many, many more people, many more people that are above right, average. Right, right, okay, fair enough. But, ah, like, uh, but I'm just saying, I I'm being like, I'm being, I, I prefaced it saying if I'm being highly left, critical. The yeah, that's a fair point. So, no, yeah, I mean it's I went, an it's an I interesting position that you're in. Same Sarah curve with the guild. I had to kick out as as bad as. As harsh it is sometimes, you have to kick some people out that don't want to change and don't want to grow. <laughs> so but let me that let means me. They don't have, that means they don't have like mind as you. And they just, you know, I have. Well, I, mean, I kicked out probably 40 people. It works for, him. It works for him. It works I kicked for out 40 people. Well, no, but no, let no, me, no, let no, me no, ask no, this. Like, go, go, go ahead. ahead. Finish that thought that I'm going to ask it from a different perspective okay, to so, actually Nova. So the, 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 the one of the things is like, it's more yes. just like the vision for our guild. It's like, that's why I mean is like, so I don't care if someone's really new to the game or they're you know or they're older or something like that i care only if they want to learn like they basically need a core thing of improvement and learning that could learning could be very minor like they could like okay learn to push during keys learn to dodge on time learn to do these other things to run comp but that, that that's all i'm looking for mostly right not but for if i was going to run 30 i would have to be then care about okay i'm looking at deepest mirror looking yeah. at like no that's a metrics. fair point i mean good like, like I, I i don't look yeah. for I'm, I'm i'm done training people unless i'm plug manning yeah. i like it's a very fair point for me i'm i'm trying to build a community and i care because i want the guild to exist well i think guild we're all too. trying to build communities yeah i, I, I mean, don't know if that's the right word but well, we're all yeah, trying to build communities but like this uh, but mainly like this guild is like you know uh, something between the the of the guild is basically we want to be something between hardcore and casual and we want to like try to find that strike that perfect balance where you, you can just do that in a beast and still kind of be fairly competitive but like so, and, I, and there are limitations to it yes like where we're not as super competitive as like you know gbg self or hardcore fight guilds but we can still kind of go toe to toe and that's so, like where i try to meet go ahead sorry so here's here's what here's what so i'm so i'm Hate is 18 years old, okay? You know why we're 18 years old? It's because we've changed the way we, we play. We've changed our play style numerous occasions. Because the game mode becomes stale. You have to do something different. So we had we had teams that were dedicated for GVG. We did GVG. Did it, done it, played it, now we're done, right? We, we went from being a 50-man group to a 35-man group. We had to change our play style to keep the content going because after a while people get bored and they leave mm -hmm. then you have to recruit right every every couple months i recruit a couple people just to keep it there's a reason why we've made it 18 years because and and, and they have to there's got to be a certain entertainment value to the guild that you have if you're not entertaining in some way for fashion people don't want to get bought in i if mean I, I, are, are you are you steamrolling the value how many like out of your fights right and I, uh, like, how many, what percentage of fights overall would you say that you're winning? Are you're not steamrolling everybody, are you? No. Are it you is, bored? Is like in that point where you're just your 50 man is basically dominating everybody out there? We're not dominating everybody out there, and there's, there's still guilds that are very challenging that I want to fight all the time. So it's still room to grow, especially. But the, um, I mean, I am regarding the game itself. I, I, there are days I feel like. Uh, getting tired of things, you know, in general. But that's because of the age of the game and the lack of. You, you gotta know, change the content, stuff. brother. You gotta change it. You gotta change it. I mean, this, this is the only way. I mean, I found a, I, mean, I found. I mean, like I said, for me, it's like I found a healthy balance because, again, we play four days a week, and so, and for me, I can only command three out of those four. Mm -hmm. So, like, for me, it's like it's actually a treat to play with people. It's uh, I my enjoyment is actually more for the 
I'm together my, you know, 49 of my closest friends or something like that. Yeah. And it's, we get to, it's we get to joke around. Value. Entertainment yeah. value. Entertainment value. It's you like, you know, to... like, go ahead. Sorry. No, I said you, you hit on a point, right? Everything's about entertainment value. Once you start to lose entertainment, then eventually your guild's going to die. But you have to give your, you have to give your guild something to look forward to. Uh, and when it comes to entertainment. Yeah. Like, I mean, like you know, said, the, the, again, for our, like I said, we survive like almost as long as your guild and, and not you, you do what's right for you. And for me, like what's been healthy for us is just like, we just like, I, I think it's, it's more of this art, the thing that we find fun might be slightly different. Like we do like fights. We do like fighting groups and content and stuff like that as much as anyone. But I think a lot of people are in it for our guild for like, the non-toxic behavior and the ability to just joke around and have fun with people and just be welcomed that's, that's pretty much it but also be able to feel like they're growing as a as a group at the same time there may be so, a ceiling there eventually uh, there might you be are 50. but let me ask you this i wanted to ask nova nova you're like flux is a guild oh, that's Nova's 50. Still yeah, <laughs> yeah flux is a guild that's 50. we're talking about 30. your guild that's building up are you building uh -huh. to 30. Yeah, we'll probably stop at 30, 35. So you, when you run out there in World v. World, you're going to build your comp, your roster, to maintain a 30 force on the board whenever you're tagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No interest to go any bigger than that as a guild. No, I, I feel like 30. I, I like 25, but I mean, 30 is also you, you pretty can't, you can't, solid, too. You can't blob bust at 25, unfortunately, right now. Yeah, 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 unfortunately. It just seems uh, impossible, especially what we've been fighting lately. Like, the past three weeks or so, I've just been getting blonde by, like, map cues. And I'm like, I, I, I literally can't fight anybody because they're just so huge and my group is still 25, 30. And the 20, like, you, when you're Bro, 25, 20, man, like, when you're 25 and then when you're 30, the difference is fucking night and day. I, I kid you not, that five people that takes you to 25 and 30 is literally the make or break. I don't oh, fucking right. know why, but it is. Yeah, champ I, I on 35 absolutely you believe need the that. sweet spot. Makes my... Oh, uh. Well, 35, you're a little bit closer on the... Like, you got a huge... A, a significant buffer there. But I, you're right. I think the bare minimum is 30. Like, 30, you can be competitive and have a chance. Obviously, as you get larger, that chance increases. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe that. It's just... It's, it's Man, sometimes it feels like we're fighting more than 60 at one point. You know, even if I mean, you have 30. Uh, I mean, I, that, then it gets comes down to comp in that 32, right? Right. You, you need, like Revali was saying in the beginning, it, it is it is true. You do need a, a fair amount of barrier to offset that, which is why it's interesting that, you know, you guys don't like that matter because it does allow the smaller groups to have an attempt at the larger groups. Correct. I think it's it's more... Uh, oh, it's back not to the me. whole... Yep. The whole... Um, <laughs> Yo, we should give it a blaze without her knowing. Issue. It's more like, I just find the... The kind of rotations and like the engagement strategy is kind of boring. Is what I that's that's what my thing. Have is. a good one, Blaze. Take care, Blaze. Blaze you want to uh, Blaze night. before Take you care, leave? Uh, you want to throw a plug out for your guild before you see you, ha see you tomorrow, Blaze. Ah! See you before you leave for the night. No, no, I don't need to put a plug out. We don't. No, just yeah. to let everyone know. You know who you are, what you do, and where they can go to apply. Blaze from GD. Meet me on Red Borderland, 8 a.m. Eastern. That's <laughs> all. Oh Do you have a Discord? God. Do you want to throw your Discord? And I'll put it into the Twitch. Blaze, 9 a.m. Oh, yeah. Sorry, 9 a.m. <laughs> 9 to 11 every single day. Be there. So day, yeah. yeah. And bring bring your your meta classes, too. She wants That's them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a All good right, night. Have a good night, please. Thanks for joining us. All right. Bye. Unfortunately, I got to bounce as well. My my guys are running on another map. No problem. Yeah, you want to throw yeah. throw yours out too before you leave? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you if you see fear out there, you're on SOR or our link server. Uh, I'm so scared. If we're fucking closed, don't bother us. If we're open, come hang out on comms. Fucking. That's all I got. Thanks, peeps. Yes, right, yes. Take nice. it easy. You guys Thank have a good you. one. You Bye. too. Yeah, so you were saying Nova? Uh, and you have the pen about you know the, the, you're building your guild. Wait, how did I get this commander tag? Oh. Um, so Elric gave here. it to you. Elric gave it to you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Here, guys. <laughs> Thanks. We've been expired for a while, so uh, I was like, shit, we need food. Thank you. Yeah, uh, building right now is is it's in a good spot. I feel I, I feel like there's a lot of. Uh, 
I've been getting a lot of new people, like, into World vs. World. Like, I don't know where they're coming from, but they're just like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm new-ish. Alt. I'm, I'm returning to the game-ish, you know, kind of players like that. And um, it's kind of good to see, but you know, that's, that's just who I've been, like, kind of... How much effort do you guys put into training new players? All you guys? Um... Well, we raid like four days a week, so. Is that the the the, the it's kind of a, all in of the training? You don't do anything beyond that? Uh, not not at the moment, not at the moment. Like I just because I I recently like I moved and I finally have time now, like in the evening to to do stuff. So now I'm able to train them if I need to, or I I need to. But um, yeah, that's kind of just what I've been dealing with there. So I'll probably be training people here pretty soon, but. See how it goes. We're still trying to build up all of our all of our new guys and stuff. It's a whole process for sure. Like I'm getting a lot of older players coming back too, like my my old core. And I'm kind of just waiting for to see where this meta is gonna, you know, if we're gonna stick around with this meta or what's gonna happen. I think a lot of groups are gonna get squishier. Come tease them. To be sure. Oh, that's, that's I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I think there is still gonna be a big problem. Actually, the berries might be a problem, but there's a lot less. There's gonna be a lot less stab on the table, so yeah. you're gonna see, see a lot of people getting CC'd. So like you can have ultra barrier, but if you're getting fucking CC'd, it doesn't fucking matter. It'll go back to the old way, right? Before the last. Uh, the I don't. I don't think it'll go that far back, but the pendulum has is swinging towards that direction. Whereas, like, at that point, if there's less, in my opinion, you know, obviously the patch hasn't hit yet, so we're not sure, but in my <clears> opinion, <throat> like, if the pendulum swings closer to that, when there's less stab on the table, you, right know, you can have an infinite room. barrier, but if you're getting CC'd, who the fuck cares? So what you may find, actually, is that some groups may, you know, say, fuck the barrier, if that's the case anyways, let's just fucking double up on DPS and go, you know, big dick in and make sure we're the ones to produce the downs before our stab goes away, which could be interesting. Yeah. And it's going to make it harder for melee groups to melee, because if you you could I mean you could CC the shit on them before they come into uh, into range. Yeah, yeah. I I think um, Tuesday should be a big like telling point to see what's going to happen here, maybe for the future. I don't think the meta is um, going to change dramatically. It's just no, you're going to no. have to you're just going to have to shift to uh, a different way of playing. You're gonna have less, uh, less of that support for stab because of uh, the CC game. So you just got to be smarter on how you press your buttons. I don't think it's gonna change dramatically. I think it's just still gonna be, uh, still be the same, similar. Well, similar. I mean, are you guys all looking forward to the patch? Yep. Mm, I mean, it's another, it's another big, patch, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll, ner it'll nerf like there's some big pain points. But I think new pain points will emerge because, uh, like I said, groups are already testing out um, spreading because, again, uh, support scourge gets nerfed, but there's now new barrier sources from Scrapper. Yeah, scrapper yeah but that, that Scrapper Chrono. barrier, I would actually argue that the Scrapper, like I, I've played with a fair amount of Scrappers thus far, and, and I'd argue that Scrapper is actually a, a high you know, ceiling class to play like a really well played scrapper versus mm -hmm. an average scrapper, because it is piano, right? You're you're you gotta you gotta have high APM to really pull those scrapper numbers oh. that it has the potential for, which I think is a good thing. So like yeah. average scrapper gameplay is not gonna cut it. It's just not. It's true. It's full push and so We always yeah. had really good scrapper uh, heal scrappers in the guild though. But before so. you you push a lot of fucking one with that that fucking old school scrapper. The new school scrapper, you're pushing a lot of fucking buttons. You're push yep. It's almost like Firebrand level gameplay. You can oh, play. it's more you can than just simple. flamethrower now. Well, like in the in the healing before, you didn't really have to do too much to put out right. those healing numbers. Yeah, because oh, it's bandaged. Yeah, yeah. But now to to really put out some some significant you know numbers on the healing with the barrier and all cleanses and the heals, you got actually got to have high APM. In my opinion, like the, if you see it, the difference between an S tier scrapper and an average scrapper is significantly noticeable. Like you at the at the point where you're like, yo, just don't play scrapper. Are there any metas that you think they they should bring back? I actually like uh, the meta dream. prior prior to the the like the the like when they just buffed uh you know Chrono the meta prior to that I actually enjoyed. 
It seemed fairly balanced. I don't know. Yeah. Hammer, do hammer train? Hammer train? Well, that hammer was train. ages ago, though. That was fucking <laughs> like eight years ago. Uh, dude, that still was a, that was the prime. That was, that was the prime of the game. The game mode. I mean, that was a busted game mode, but yeah. Yeah, but dude, <laughs> look how many It was people fun, played. but it was busted. Content. Look, like, right look, at, look at the content that. we have. Nothing. I, I kind of want to go back to, again, uh, to, su to support 3 DPS instead of the current uh, 4 support 1 DPS. Because, I, I like, did like that one it, too, yeah. Because, like, it's so much harder to recruit right now to get as much support players. Because, again, support players, it takes a lot more effort to play that. I mean, uh, play that kind of prof uh, spec or profession until like, I recruit those players like you know you're competing with other guilds for that Go 30 man bro there's your answer then you don't need as many players and you're gonna be you're on the 30 man train the entire time I, I, I love too many people I, I, and again the no, guild I'm, is I'm like busting your shops. I know I'm you're busting my balls busting your shops. I also like the other issue too is like whenever we run small we end up fighting 50 man groups <laughs> And getting W keyed because you, that, that, like... that happens. That happens. I mean, that's, you know, that, that's just part of it, right? But you need that thirty base. You, you absolutely need that thirty base. Anything less than thirty, you're not even in the the fucking ballpark. And even at that thirty, you're still gonna lose more than you win. But you know, at least you can have a chance of winning, like you know, a handful. Yeah, like I said, it's a different mentality. If I was younger, like. 20 years younger, <laughs> you know, younger. age doesn't have anything to do with the Revalia. I mean, time, it's about time, you know, like if I had more time and it was like my core focus, you know, then yeah, but, like that's the thing I could do. But these days, you know, I'm pretty jaded because I've been in, in the different games and so many like, groups there's that other try games to be world force. Yes, there, <laughs> there are what? games. Yeah, there's other game I never heard of it, Holy dude. Foot Guild Wars Two. Played Guild Wars One and Guild Wars Two his entire That's fucking it, game dude. career. What? Commander character. <laughs> I play I play FPSs a lot. So what's an FPS? What? Yeah, what Guild Wars Two. Uh, it's it's Longbow Ranger basically. Ah, oh, yeah. gotcha. And in action yeah. cam mode, yeah. Yeah, in action gotcha, cam mode. gotcha. Okay, so it's like Guild Wars Two. Gotcha. Oh, that's what we got to do next time. We got an action cam, uh, first person. Uh, raid, you guys down? Are you even gonna make it? I mean, do you? Do you yeah, I'll make it. Hey guys, I got my alt. Uh, I just don't know. Yo, what by the way, I, I meant to say before the other two left, like Rivalia and Elric, since you're here and you can pass mm -hmm. it on, you guys are welcome to join us on future ones. By all means, I don't know sure, if you fine. have alt or yeah, you want to just hang in the channel, but uh, more than welcome because uh, you know uh, what we're trying to do is just get. You know, the best we can, as many commanders involved from different servers and communities to really, I think, encourage some better positive communication, because I know there's enough negative out there. So, you know, Anet hasn't done anything for us. We might as well build these more integrated communities ourselves. And who knows if they ever do, ever do an NA versus EU thing, we got a basis to get something fucking solid going to represent yeah. NA. And we're, we're calling it Boned in a Corner, right? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be our alliance right there. That's our alliance. Boned That's in our corner. alliance. Boned in a Corner. Yeah. Oh, I, I just want to... Uh, I remember one thing. This is not related to anything we just said, we said prior, but when you said uh, make fun of my, my guild for being at capacity or map. One of my favorite uh, guild names or joke guild names, troll names, was Canty's name, which is map capacity. I'm telling you, Ruthless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite <laughs> Ruthless. Yeah, Ruthless. Yeah, Ruthless. Yeah, Ruthless. Oh, you're also, talking about my Ruthless. He also had uh, another one for Strike Force, which was Stroke Force, which is also yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, we have Sissy so, Force for hate. Ruthless, if you're listening, I, I do enjoy your meme names. That Map you capacity, huh? Map Not capacity. far off though. Sometimes, right? Yeah. Like I said, these days it's not. It doesn't has happened as much. Allegedly. Um, Allegedly. Well, <laughs> I'm writing it down. <laughs> I still remember the days when you had like your 50 man and then your 15 on the side, bro. Yeah, when I, I, that was the, the you know, kind of the peak, you know, like flux being really huge. The peak. Now he's let's, like, let's yo, clarify. I can't, I can't get 16 more guys, only 50. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it was crazy when we had that many like you know people, but these days it's like I said, there's okay. like. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, let's clarify this, all right? Just because you have 25 to 30, because it's been rough, doesn't mean you can't count the other 20 pugs that are running with you. That still makes you a 50-man squad. 
Yeah, I can say I can say that. Okay. But I don't trust them to because they're on random builds or whatever. Does to... fifty is fifty. <laughs> I, I got all these guilds. I say, oh, they got twenty five. But and then you got like thirty pucks following you. No, bro, you're fifty. No, I'm only twenty five. Uh, I 25 mean, to, to be fair, if, if 50. fifty in squad, I'd say yeah, you're right, fifty in squad. But if he's like twenty five and then there's a twenty five following, I don't know the effectiveness of those twenty five would make them fifty. You're still like, fifty. Like, well, rally bags, though. you know, yeah. like when they when they because they go because they're not in the comp party, and they're going to likely go down and they're going to rally people. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's more of a but detriment that's still, to me. That's still that's still uh, fifty. I, I'm just. And I mean, yeah, you're it, crazy? factually you're correct. It's still a 50, whether it's an effective 50. 50 it, it, I don't know if that's the case. Yeah, but it we, might not be an effective 50, but yeah, you're still 50. You're that's still a metric you, know what you have mean? to look at is how, if they're on tag. You I graduated kindergarten. No, you didn't. 50. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, Billy. Don't fucking lie to me. It was on my second time I did, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. That I believe. On your second time you graduated kindergarten, I believe that. Correct. Second percent. time. Fifty is still fifty. That the mat still is fifty. What? What? what, what? I mean, I used to run fifty. Too. Fifty people hitting one. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Look, I sh should we take it back to the days when I'm out there with fifty? Oh, we we all know oh, that. Oh God! Dude, I, I, I got the recordings. <laughs> 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 well, we both used to run fifty fifty, and the lag was ridiculous. I don't think people would fight me anymore if I ran fifty. I think I, I, I still would. I'd just beef up to fifty. You probably have a lot more people avoiding you. That's I already have enough people avoiding me. <laughs> that, that, now, is kinda, dogs, that is kind of kind of toxic. We can talk about that. You know. Dodds is, yeah, Dodds Dod, Dod would fucking int in though, like, his style of commanding is completely different than my style of commanding. Yeah, Do uh, Dodds is like unga bunga. You're more patient and, yeah. Oh, here comes some yeah. gamers, guys. Endo plays very conservative. He's very I, I, I don't know about conservative. I'm very surgical. I'm very surgical. Same very shit. Surgical. Conservative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, I don't know about conservative. I don't know it's conservative. May I don't know. Maybe. I don't know how you describe I'll it. Say patient. It's like yeah. maybe patient. Same shit. But I, I, I like my my movement, and my movement. And <laughs> <laughs> bully <laughs> foot. Get, get the fuck out of here. Meanwhile, yeah, you, you have bully foot who's fucking bro. running circles around me, bro. I'm mean, like, I tell my guys, all right, he's fucking running in a circle, guys. Just fucking. Plantier, plantier, plantier. <laughs> hey, but uh, we did beat you. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. You did. You did. There's no denying. It. You, 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 like, like I said before, and I think it was right. uh, Elric that said it earlier today. Every guild has died to every, every other guild. guild. Yeah. I've died. I've died in real life twice, to to Endo. <laughs> when so we wipe, I die. You're I so stupid. Wow. Yep. I don't like to lose. You know. I, I think we have a good good rivalry going, to be honest. Yeah. At least at least I don't run like other guilds do. Sad that people run. Yo, who's taking this tag? Uh, pass it back to Rivalia. Bully, are you rating tonight? I don't know. Do you guys uh do you guys have any? Oh, I got two hundred fifty badges of honor. Where do I get this fucking? Oh shit! Beliefwood wants to command. Oh, well, bully, you you driving tonight? I can't. Just fucking twelve. No, I drive tonight. Yeah, I'm driving at. Uh, in uh, approximately 40. Who's your as a, as a 50 man value? Who's your hardest fight? Either it's either you, <laughs> not including or me, not including me, not including you. I'd say like either probably it's at this point it's either Bane or CO at this point. Bane or CO, interesting. As equal kind of. Who it's do like you enjoy fighting more out of those two? CO because it's more equal. Like as in like it's kind of like Number both guilds. Or skill wise, skill wise, skill -wise. the guilds are pretty even skill wise. Maybe the uh, maybe them slightly more. If I'm being grateful, great, more gracious to them. You might be. You might be being more gracious. We haven't had fights against like those groups though in a long while though. So we I haven't we haven't re re gauged where we're at currently. Because we recently fought. Who did we fight recently? That was big. SMC. So. But anyways, like. It's kind of hard to gauge because we haven't fought them with like the current meta. Some of these groups with the current meta. Or How do you keep you guys meta. sharp in between the, like the tough fights or the tougher fights? We do. We started doing in houses not too long ago. Interesting. So, How about you do... guys, Elric? Oh, sorry. I, I thought you were finished. Go ahead. No, that was, that was really in houses and also like training. So oh, we've okay. been doing those. 
How about you, you Elric? Who's your toughest fight, and how do you guys keep yourself sharp between fights? Or between tougher know. fights? From, I don't know for my time zone, it's a little difficult because there's not many organized guilds that play on my time zone. So I can't really say if I ignore you who the toughest fight is. Um, circle's up. Hang on. Take fail. Big range bomb. Don't go in the circle. Come right. The kills. Alright, go in the circle. Reservoir. Yeah, it's, yeah, no, it's no, no, difficult to say who's the toughest fight because I think you're the only one that fights no, organized. Not including time. me, though. Not including yeah, me. not including you. Uh, oh, it wouldn't be an equal guild to you in your time zone be TG or something like that. Oh, yeah. How do you do against TG? TG. They, they split running... up, by the way. Did you guys hear? Some they what? Interesting. Yeah, they're a new guild now. Huh? World v. World drama. Oh, I'll oh. share it with you. You want to finish your thought first, or you want me to share the drama first? Go for the drama. You don't want to finish your thought first? Straight for the drama? I'm having a break. <laughs> so, TG, allegedly, this is allegedly, this, you know, uh, this is secondhand information. TG's World v. World Core has split from TG. They are now a new guild called PVD. Allegedly, the TG leadership was not appreciating how the World v. World commanders within TG were asking their player base to play meta and comp. And what? apparently there was a division there, so them asking the, their players to play meta and comp to be competitive was a, you know, I guess a, 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 some type of toxic dude. That's incident. Toxic. How dare you? So all the World Viewer players in TG have quit TG, and are, or maybe some of them are still in there for the PV, but they formed a World Viewer World group called PVD. Hmm. I don't know, it sounds fishy. Because I didn't know they already broke. No, 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 they're, they're definitely PVD. Like, they've been running the last three nights, because we're linked on a server with them. Oh, okay. I don't like the, the the reasoning is what is speculation or like secondhand information or hearsay. The they have actually split off. That is confirmed fact. Now the reasoning is what I've I've heard secondhand, so I don't know whether that's true or not. But they have indeed made a, a separate guild called PVD. But I mean, my question is this: Why do people get upset when you know World v World commanders ask you know quote unquote PV years or whatever to play a certain comp? When PVers do the same fucking thing, like you're not gonna go into well, a raid with like just random shit. You're gonna be expected to play a certain class, a certain spec, and put up a certain number. Otherwise, you're not invited. Like, how? Gotta, wh where does the double standard come in? Like, you gotta understand the, like the the my the life, gate. my rules. <laughs> the like for raids is like yeah, particularly, but like you gotta realize like the main what is the core player for Guild Wars Two? It's people who play open world content, right? Uh, and, SMC Lord, just so you and, know. Oh, okay. But yeah, like open world content is like a low barrier to entry where you can run pretty much like almost anything and still be successful in some way or another. So that's like the the base level. Yeah, but level it's a competitive game player. mode, Revalia. And by the way, it was just confirmed in my Twitch chat by someone in not what is now PVD. 125 players left TG to, to form PVD. Oh, okay. And I when I when I first heard it and I saw them on the board, um, I thought it was a great thing. You know, people yeah. were like, you know, drama, drama, drama. I was like, that's a fucking fantastic thing for a competitive group of players to do. Because if you're being held back because people can't do the simplest thing of ch playing like a certain class that you need to be competitive, then what the fuck is the fucking point? If you have yeah. 50 players, and I think they put up a large number, and like, you know, only 20, 25 are putting the effort and the other, everyone else is dead weight. And that's what's preventing you from being a, a stronger group. Why not? And your your expectation ev isn't even, hey, you have to be this level of a player. Your expectation is only, hey, please play one of these 12 classes. I don't think yeah. that's a big, big ask. No, it's not a big ask at all, no. I, I, for what they did, I have no problem with that because, um, I mean, like, I, I have a similar story. Not, not, not the exact same story, but for Flux's history, Flux started as a PVX guild uh, in Guild Wars 2, like a PVE plus World Wars World. And then those two uh, factions within the guild, uh, this, uh, you know, kind of like had a debate. And then this is like back when we were on TC and then transferred off of TC. And then we basically uh, became a World Wars World guild, you know, when we transferred to JQ at that point. And then the PVE portion just kind of dropped off of, of it. And that's because like there was, you know, that's a typical, like I've seen it in other guilds too. 
where they have this kind of they're if, if they're if they have a Wolver's world contingent and Wolver's world becomes a thing that is more active then they have to reckon with the fact that if they want to become Wolver's world guild they do have to meet certain more basic standards and and focus on that right so that's that's that's, that's what happens in general like so the thing that that would happen to uh you know tg is not like that's not, not uncommon. That's not uncommon at all. Yeah, it exactly. Happened, it, it happened to I, hate, I think it's a good thing. In a, I, yeah, I'm actually, it is. I, I'm actually hate, hate looking same forward implosion. to their increased performance. Because I think TD in and of itself, yeah, fine, you could say they played a shoulder time zone. But if TG with dead weight had that level of performance, and I, I, I think their performance is pretty decent, I'm actually excited to see TG that's m like refocused, motivated, and has everyone buying into the World v. World vision. It could be a, a powerhouse you know, to come, maybe. Some competition yeah. for you guys, Dusk. A lot of a lot of guilds go through that because hate went through that when we move out of SBI. We wanted to reset ourselves and focus strictly on World versus, versus World, be more competitive. So we had a blowout. We lost over 100 guildies, and then we moved over to, to AR and re reestablished ourselves. So it's not uncommon to, for guilds to do that because, you know, you got you to keep the game mode uh, going and you got to change it up, right? So people wanted to start becoming more competitive People hate to get steamrolled. And at the end of the day, you play the game to win, you not to lose. So, you know, it yeah. happens. I And I think it's a good thing for them because then they can refocus on what they want to do. And it's probably win fights. And I, I'm, I'm assuming they were getting steamrolled by every fucking guild. And at, to a point, you got to be like, all right, what is enough enough? I'm tired of getting steamrolled. Why can we not be competitive and take some of these guilds down? Because that's what we thought it, as a guild. We're like, hey, these top tier guilds, why can't we be like them? What What's, what's holding us back? So we started training, we kicked out 100 people, we moved servers, and then we reestablished ourselves as a fight guild. And then we, we practiced, oh, we practiced, we practiced, and, 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 and it worked. And I think if TG does the same thing, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be good for the community because I want, I want more competition, it's getting boring. Yeah, I mean, like, what, what, even though it's like that was, like I said, it was drama. I think it's good for them if they want to focus. They're now focusing fully on that. So, as you said, it'll be interesting to see them on the field and how competitive they get as they refocus their efforts. I agree. I'm actually looking forward to seeing their progress. Yeah, anyone who brings more competition to the scene, it's it's great. They have a blowout, great. Well, at least you're gonna fix it and become better. Now we get we get the perks of it because we're gonna receive that competition. And we can test players metal. is not nothing either. Hundred twenty five yeah. players is huge. Yeah, I lost a fucking hundred, and I was like, "Fuck, that's a lot of people." Then, in hindsight, it wasn't that much because oh, it should have been more, you know. In hindsight, but it's crazy how some guilds get so big. Yeah, that's gonna happen to my guild too. We're gonna implode when we move to SOR. Can SOR uh, can 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 accommodate another guild? Can. All right, can. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Tell them All right. You had to. You had to compete with. Well, what time zone you play, Nova? Na. 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 Uh, Na. Yeah. Yeah, oh, prime. Yeah. Oh, late Na. There might be room for any. The issue with the current linking, though, Black A, like I said, Black A has a lot of Na guilds, so it's like maps are queued a lot. In Na prime. Or begun to be towards uh, PST. On any other link that's more dead, it's it's usually pretty good. So, yeah. So someone from uh, PVD just said there was like 34 of us who re would really, who w would want to really try and build a good comp, but the rest didn't. I, I think everyone here has stated that uh, you guys did the right thing, quite frankly, and uh, we're all looking forward to your your new selves because you guys didn't do half bad prior to. If you got a fucking complete vision and everyone's rowing in the same direction, fuck. Do you think VIP would do something similar? I think VIP yeah, tries I, to do something similar with Hama. I talked to with Squirrel. With Hama. Yeah, with Squirrel. Like, anyone else yep. besides Squirrel, and they just don't get that level of commitment. I, I, would, I would argue that if Squirrel commanded more than he does, and then kind of, like, lean the fat, like, you know, kind of strip the fat away... And then took more of an effort to maintaining a comp. I bet you VIP could fucking be a force to be reckoned with. They, they you know, he just needs to. He needs to be the one that like, like takes charge though, because they have too many fucking commanders in between that just do nothing. Yeah, I can tell you from experience, like fighting squirrel nuts. 
uh i me and squirrel talked and uh you could tell the the improvement because he, he he let me know like they've been working on training for world versus world and him being the main commander for world versus world i mean i just he's a, he always runs 50 so he's one of those big ass groups but uh and we ran we ran like 35 against him and we just steamroll him every time one night he steamrolled us it's and i'm like what the fuck nope uh oh illusion off big bombs second all the time oh i think that's illusion, Hollowed, off. Hollowed. illusion off again Oof, we just got uh. back in. but uh, uh squirrels oh, improved right yeah i mean i think they certainly have improved like they, there's no question about that right like there's there's no question about that He's put in the effort. There's no doubt about that. But still got ways to go. Ways to go. And I have like five minutes before I have to run my raid. <laughs> well, let's uh, leave it with this. I, I think, does anyone in Twitch have any questions? If not, then let's, uh, we can say our goodbyes here. We've had a great conversation, in my opinion. Or there's any topics that Rivalia or, uh, you know, Elric, you guys want to leave off with? Not at the moment. I think we addressed a lot. I mean, I'm happy to join in future conversations as always. So these um, guys want to do it every week. I think every week is too much. So let's say the next one will be in two weeks. Is, is that okay. cool? The yeah, next one will be in two weeks. Thing, yeah. 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 Let's do bi-weekly. I think weekly is too much, to be honest with you. Um, but let's do bi-weekly. Rivalia, Elric, you know, Blaze, and uh, Asta. Are, you know, anyone previous chef is welcome to join future ones. Um, I'll let you know when we get like the, the server and all that kind of settled. Um, and you have the usual here every day, uh, every, every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, like <laughs> Nova and Bully, gallery. you guys can just kind of. The peanut gallery as, always uh, be here. We need to get Nova to speak more, though, Bully. I don't know how we can. Maybe we just tickle him on the I, side or something. I don't know. I think just, so. I've been talking to my chat. You need to talk. You need to talk. You need to talk, you need to talk to us, Nova. Yeah, <laughs> no. dude. I'm giving you something, you know? Right. You need to talk more. I love you guys. You guys are the you guys are the best. But if you guys have anything else, Rivalia. Uh, to answer uh, Rawls Rawls question in uh, which I feel cute. I feel cute every day. So that's why I'm so cute. Oh my god! All right. You well, guys are, uh, you guys are cute. Yeah. I, I thank you guys. guys for joining. I think we had pretty good discussion. Uh, you're welcome for the one in two weeks. I got to figure out what server we'll go to next uh, to do that. Obviously, and you don't have to rock. move your alts if you don't want to. We can. Uh, I'll move my alt. Just tell me where. We can. Yeah, I'll move mine too. Like, but if you want to just join in the Discord, you can just join in the Discord for the conversation. So, it's you don't have to move your alt. Um, but let me leave it with you two so you can uh, tell plug your guilds before you uh, send us off. I guess I'll go. So. Flux, you know, capacity is recruiting meta professions. So if it's pretty much like the uh, right now, it's like firebrands, support chronos, support scourges, and uh, we just look for us on the SOR Discord. We run Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and just give me a whisper. I'm Revalia Routebringer in the game, but you can find me anywhere. So. Oh yeah. Mr. Elric. <laughs> uh, so I'm the leader of Dusk. We run every day, uh, 6.30 Eastern to 8.30 Eastern, except Fridays. If you're interested in following a tag, get a taste of World's World, come find me. I'm on oh, SOR. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Um, we, we're not recruiting right now, though, but keep following us. We really? Will, we, we will open. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Wow. I Toxic, love that. dude. That's Toxic. very interesting. <laughs> Just Very follow offended. us. I wanted to join. Shit. I, 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 we'll have to talk more. I'm, I'm actually interested about that one. Okay. I'm not gonna right. let you plug, Bully, because you're 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 a jerk. Nova, would you like to plug before you leave, brother? <laughs> Talk you're not, to you we're not letting you plug. Leave this shit. Uh, oh yeah, sure, guys. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Nova. We're also over here. Apex is uh, recruiting, and uh, don't forget to buy your Starforge PC. Okay, off my thing. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, you plug your guild, not your IRL income, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guys, Apex is recruiting. <laughs> this Star guy. PCs, best PCs in the universe, okay? Thanks. 
I don't, I'm definitely not letting you plug bully. But all right, well, thank Love you guys for joining. Hair grease, if you want to join hate, God help you. <laughs> thank you all for joining. It was actually an interesting conversation. Um, the next one will be in two weeks. Rivalia and uh, Elric, let me know if you guys in DMs whether you want to, you know, be part of that one. I th I hope you will. I think it'll be cool to just keep bringing, you know, making the round table larger. Um, but otherwise, thank you all for joining. It was very great conversation. Action was whatever, but the conversation was great. Thanks for the yeah. invite. Yep, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Fun. Take care, y'all. Have a good night. See you on the battlefield. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bully, or Nova, I'm coming over there. Okay. Save me a spot Sounds in the good. squad, bro. All right. We'll see you soon. All right. What do you guys think? Pretty interesting uh, conversation, I think. Nice guys, all of them, actually. Rivalia, Mr. Elric. I've never been in a Discord with Elric. Nice dude. I've never been in a, a Discord with Astaroth or Blaze. All pretty, uh, you know, good dudes and dudettes. Can you publish the video on Twitch so we don't have to wait for YouTube? No! You gotta wait for the YouTube, Sylvie. Good coverage of topics tonight? Yeah, I think so. They sound like much better people than me. <laughs> Alrest. Hey, have there been any bottles thrown at your head lately, Alrest? We need some bottles thrown at Alrest's head, please. Nice job. Thanks again for hosting the room. Yo, thanks for joining. We didn't have as many questions as I thought in the uh, in the Twitch as we did last week. Um, maybe because we, we've been talking about it, like covered most of the questions, but I expected... Uh, uh, not expected. I guess I hoped for more questions out of the Twitch for, for the guests. But... Uh, I think Rivalia and or Elric are going to be being joining as part of the the roundtable team, so we just got to figure out what server to you know interview next. So we've done FA so far, SOR. There's plenty of servers to go. So um, if anyone is interested, just drop me a DM and uh, we'll put it together for the next one in two weeks. Could podcast these? Do you? I do not. I try to. I'm trying to, so I asked, um, I asked last time in chat, like whether, you know, people want just audio or they want to look at something while they're, they're listening in. And most, if not all, you know, people, you know, stated that they wanted to, you know, watch something being played while listening in. So, um, that's why we're doing like, it's not real commanding. It's kind of like whatever commanding, but it's something that for you to watch while we're, you know, talking. But I think it's uh, it's been pretty fucking interesting that uh, you know you're getting different commanders' opinions from different types of guilds. Spec if fights happen. No, I mean the commanders are like we're passing the pin, right? So Rivalia, Elric, Asta, myself, Bully, and Nova, we just kept passing the pin. Once again, I don't think any of us commanded like we normally do. Just because we're kind of mid conversation. Clearly didn't have a comp tonight. Although I will I'll say one thing. I was actually surprised that SOR didn't have fifty players tonight. I gotta hand it to FA. Last week on FA, when we did this FA capped out the fucking squad and the Discord. Tonight on SOR, we only had like, I think, what, 30? 30, 32, 33? And then maybe like 23, 24 in Discord? FA represented last week. FA represented big time. There wasn't enough content for that, that hunk of 50. But FA had the 50. They had um, like, I think, seven groups out of that 50 comped. And then they had about 42, 43 in the Discord, which was interesting.